Hello guys and welcome to the first edition of Mornington Peninsula Past Players. Uh, what turned in from 12 beers to uh, 1,500 people following, which has been fantastic. Uh, firstly, we've actually already got a sponsor on board, so Graham French at Decking Out Melbourne. What a fantastic, stupendous person he is. Um, fellow Karingal uh, past president, and thank you very much. Um, their interest has been fantastic. Even guys from other leagues um, have just sent me messages saying it's been really fantastic. First person that I um, thought about putting on a uh, picture was um, probably the most lovable guy in the MPNFL. Uh, he probably took steroids at 14-year-old. Uh, so if, firstly, I'd like to welcome our first panellist for the year. We've got three on tonight, but Big Al Glanvorth. Welcome, mate. Thank you very much for coming on, mate. Thanks for the invite. Um, That's the way, mate. It's a, it was a great initiative, mate, born on the back of uh, either a barbecue or yep. too many beers. That's right. But look at it grow. Yeah, a couple nah, of days, 1,500, and yep. here we are. No, nah, it's been fantastic. And the first, when I'd, uh, I was 12 stubbies deep and I was looking through your players. Uh, Is that your, tonight, Pity, or? Uh, what am I, four or five here now? I'm shaking like a dog <laughs> shit and razor blades, Blackie, so I'll be right. I'll loosen up, mate. We'll be right. Uh, so we've got some uh, fantastic photos of you, mate. The first photo that we've got um, of up you, the mate. Um, talk us through there, mate. You've got some stupendous uh, players going through there, mate. Well, there's a couple of handy blokes there. Um, three of them are pretty good footballers, and then there's myself. Jared Healy, <laughs> far left, um, clearly, you know, a Brownlow medalist. Dale Moulton made the All-Australian Teal Cup team. Uh, Brett Wright, one of the, uh, one of the best. He's, 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 one of the greatest. He's, he's in the conversation of all yeah. time. And um, I don't know who the long haired yet is there, but there. <laughs> uh, the other one, the next one is uh, Timmy McCormack. He could never yeah. catch me, mate. This, yeah. you know what? It's just way too fast. That's Teddy Turner in the back. Yeah. And apparently he's coming on the show soon. He is, Teddy. Is he? Yeah. Yep. Teddy's he's, next week. He's pretty handy on the Facebook, isn't he? He loves it. He goes all right on the but Facebook. I don't know if there's water down in Eat House, mate. You guys are all dressed well, you smell good, eh? Hey? It's that, in, that end of the peninsula, mate. Yeah. You know, you, you, close to you town. Teddy, Ev Ryder, mate, they all love the steroids and that back in under 16. Brett Wright, have a look at him. He was bloody huge, wasn't he? Brett, well, he's a man child. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And Nothing have you seen him lately? Child. No. Oh, my goodness. Really big? Could hold a bull out to piss. He is mammoth and massive. <laughs> and going to the gym, I mean. Jesus. Not, not, not big, like, oh, as really? in gross. Yeah, right. As in. Jesus. Pumping anyway, the who's, who's, the, who's the kettle called the pot black? <laughs> just quietly. <laughs> Anyway, no, just, look, uh, just on that last photo of you, Al, before I introduce the, uh, the next two guys, that photo of you on when you, what was that, runner-up best and fairest you got there, mate, in the league? No, that was the reserves best and fairest. That's indeed the reserves, yeah. and that's Theo there. You won three, didn't you, Al? What were your bench two. points back then, Al? Uh, that it's, I told everybody that just because I'm close to the camera, I look yeah. bigger than the other lads. They're both very slight fellows, especially Phoebe. Yeah, yeah, I that's mean, true. gee whiz, his yeah. mum used to tie him down in a storm. Yeah, uh, that's funny, but that's fantastic. Well, um, it's really great to have you on, mate. And your knowledge, um, it's been great for the last three weeks. Uh, yourself and Teddy Turner have been uh, really good in putting on past. We love footy, so. mate. That's our, That's right. And, that's, uh, and Peninsula. Exactly right, mate. And we have got uh, one of the Peninsula's finest down in Scotty Bill. Welcome, mate. Thank you for very coming on, mate. Really no, good. Pity. Fantastic. Um, as, you, as Al said, you know, when you uh, tagged me in this thing a few weeks ago, I joined up and thought, oh, yeah, it'll be good and a bit of a laugh and some photos and there might be a few hundred people will yep. get on. And But uh, what do you have? One, nearly 1. 1.6. Yeah, 1,600. Yeah, bloody uh, well, I'll touch on something that happened uh, earlier in the week that uh, I know who's stitched me up, but it's been fantastic, Billy. Now, your photos, Katsi, um <sighs> that's running uh, Game Face for us tonight, he said to Billy, can you send in some photos, mate? So we sent in these photos. We're saying, oh, let's go uh, just our, you know, rye stuff and that. He's thrown in a uh, VFA picture. Well, What's going on I there, I played mate? a year at Frankston oh, yeah. with Blackie. Oh, and I knew yeah, we were coming yeah. to 91, <laughs> and that was in 1990. Yeah. Looked how ripped you we, were back no, then, Billy. Really. strong then, mate. Hey. But, um, that was not... I've had shit thicker than that, though, Billy. <laughs> we're about... <laughs> oh, mate, you're a lot bigger than me, obviously. But, no, that was back in 1990. So then we... Uh, we we got coaxed back into the MP NFL in 91, so yep. it's interesting we're talking about that now. But Hey, Billy, on that first photo on the left-hand side, is not is that that's um, Paul, Williams Paul Williams' coach? Yeah, yep. Paul Williams' coach. I think it's 2001, he coached Rye, and uh, you got uh, Adam Garby in there. Yeah, he, league uh, won, medalist. I think he won a league medal, won a couple of B&Fs at Rye, obviously. Tyson um, Lloyd? Is Tyson, that no, Dustin Lloyd. Dustin, Dustin Lloyd. He coached the 2006, I uh, captain the 2006 flag co-captain with yep. Greg Doyle. Yep. Um, yeah, so that's some... 
But I, don't, I didn't have many photos. Um, yeah. But anyway, I've got oh, some good Billy, ones. Oh, Billy, your mum would have had a few oh, tucked mate. away. Yeah, true, true. Had, she had a plethora of them. Don't worry about that. And then you walked into um, coaching, mate. You're a stellar coach. Yeah, well, that, really good. And that photo, that's when I was assistant coach under Stevie Ryan, who was a great yeah. coach at Rye, obviously, and then, then followed by Benny Haynes. But, yeah, no, nah, it's all good. But, uh, no, nah, great job, Pity, to yeah. all the guys nah, together. Cheers, and, mate. And thanks very much for coming on, no mate. No worries. And now uh, we've got pretty much one of uh, Mr. Peninsula Football's and Tony Blackford. Welcome, mate. Thank you very much thanks, for Pitty. coming on. Yeah, no, you're, uh, you're very not, enjoyable. You're not new to this, mate, are you? No, no, no. Hey. I've, I've been able to help Glenn along the way, and yeah. um, but what it, what it is great pity, Bealey and myself and um, Al Glanville have spent so much time together with our great mate Toey. Yep. Um, Al and I and Toey used to do the one the footy show down at the uh, cool stores mm-hmm. when it was at the cool stores. Yep. Um, but then we upgraded and yep. we got uh, some new premises down there at Mornington at the old school and. Uh, and Bealey and myself and Toei, it was great. It was great, great times and great yeah. memories. Yeah. Now you've had some um, fantastic uh, memories, as you just said, and you've had a lot of, um, you've won a lot of success through your football, mate. Take us through those pictures, mate. And um, in that middle bottom photo, you've taken your shirt off. How quick was that? Was that three quarter time or what? Yeah, that was three quarter time. Now that was our. Uh, we got a thirty year premiership reunion coming up on the seventeenth of July, and yep. that that was against Rosebud. Um, it was a really wet day. Rosebud beat us by 11 goals in the second semi, and they were the best side for the year. Yep. Um, Frankston Bombers, had, um, the, the last three years leading up to 91, I think they'd won two or three games maximum yep. for the whole three years. Yep. So they were rock bottom. Yep. Um, John Dart came on board, got some good... You got a few blokes from Frankston that year other than yourself. Mis- yep. Myself, Sharpie, Sharpie yeah. Shane also, Atkins. The other guy played at Hawthorne, did he go Steve, there? Steve Longham, no, Shields, Russell Shields. Yeah, Russell Shields, I'm thinking about. Yeah. So we got some really good yeah. people back to the club. Yeah. We had a, a huge amount of youth. I mean, I was only 20 at that, that time, or 21, but um, it was just, yeah, it was an amazing year, yeah. and we weren't the best side, but we were on the best side on the day. Yeah. Talking about Longham then, were you? Stevie Longham, yeah, so which is, is, is Zach, son? Zach, um, Zach Longham yeah, is his Zach son. Yeah, that's right. And Stevie um, and, and Darren Sharp. Yep. Um, Shane Atkins was an Edith Vale fella. He was. He came to Frankston Bombers. He yeah. played at the VFL too. Yeah, he was a very good VFL player. Yep. And so from the Frankston, Frankston point of view, mate, um, who's one of the best players you've seen there? At Frankston? Yeah. In, uh, at uh, Frankston Bombers. Yeah. Um, Oh, Jason Hill, he was a really yeah. good player. But w- as you go, you know, as I went on to coach and all that yep. later on, there was a fellow called Brian O'Carroll. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he was yeah. so, was so smooth, but yeah. both sides of his body. Before yeah. your time, that Marty Clarkson. Oh, Marty player. Clarkson. Yeah. He, yeah. Was, yeah. he was good on yeah. and off the field, yeah. old Marty, yeah. back yeah. then. He's funny. He was still yeah. involved a bit, wasn't he, like years ago? Did he stay involved? Oh, he's involved? still, yeah. look, he, he was the president of the footy yeah. club, yeah. F- chairman of selectors of our premiership yeah. side. He's still down there today. Yeah. That um, part of the the deck club and all yeah. that sort of stuff. Yeah. Just a great, yeah. honest servant yeah. you're of, ter- of the. F- you're talking about Terps saying uh, he's one of the best you've seen. A lot of comparisons to Terps to Michael Burke and this sort of similar age. Yeah, that yeah. As well. uh, two fantastic. Um, Before Tony's players. time, uh, Frankston they had an some Paddy yeah. Paddy Travis Flaherty, Pace, yeah. Travis yeah. Pays, yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, Tommy Tarrant, d- yeah, Thompson, Shinners, yep. um, Flash Nicholson, G. And 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 List Bill. There was yep. another fellow called Bill Thompson who won a, yep. a listed medal in the in the VFA at that time. Yep. A lot of these guys came from the Dandenong yep. football team, yep. um, and Travis Pays, who obviously was was a. Um, was involved in the 66 Premiership side, but also he was president of St Kilda and he also came on to be um, coach of the Frankston Bombers. Jeff in the Craig, early was it Craigie? Jeff Craig. Jeff Craig, yeah. Good cricket, yeah. good football, was he? Big slug. Yeah. Big slug. I, oh, I, there's plenty of... I spent a night at the Crown Casino with slug. Oh, just did you? jumped on a table playing black... Uh, well, playing... Um, <laughs> Canadian stud poker. Oh, yeah. And, we, and I said, oh, hey, g'day, mate. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, really? we, we won about a 1,000 each. So, anyway, <laughs> it was a good day. And just on that, guys, um, Al, you play with a lot of um, fantastic players. Who's the best player you've um, played with, mate? Played with. That's a, that's a comfortable one for me. It's Brett Wright. Brett yeah. Wright. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, you know, we, we played 160 games together. Yeah. And yeah. also all of our juniors together. Yeah. I was his, yeah, I was his captain in under 16s, mate, and he kicked 23 goals from centre forward at Rye. Sorry, you Scotty. Messaged, you messaged me that during the week. He was um, just a man child, but just a gifted footballer. Yeah. And a oh, terrific coach. Oh, that's fantastic. And mate. was a chairman of selectors at Rye, too. He was indeed. He came down to Rye. He came down for oh, a year. Oh, did he? And, uh, Justin Hosking was coach, probably right. 99, right. 2000. Yeah, great. Yeah. He was great for our club. Oh, that's Rastus. fantastic. We'll get back to that because we've got a fantastic guest uh, rung in. We're, th- each week we're going to get... Um, 
uh, ex celebrity, ex AFL player, or a champion that's um, been on the NPNFL. And now uh, this week we've got uh, Tony Moore, and I'll pass it over to Scotty Bill. Now, t- g'day, Tony. Can you hear us? Oh, Billy, if I knew you were on, I wouldn't have said yes. <laughs> Come on, mate. Don't, don't Come on, he's one of your favourites, Tony. We used to wax down at Rye back in the 90s, my friend. And actually, one of the reasons we got you on, and we're talking about 91, and, um, and we'll talk about uh, old Jeff Edelston later on, Tony. So mm. we'll just don't forget Jeff, who's uh, passed away, obviously. But um, back in, was 91 your first year when you came to Rye, straight from the AFL? Well, it was, well, it was my first year, yes, Scott. And the great to <laughs> speak to you, buddy. Um, it was my first year, but it wasn't my first year out of the AFL. The year before 1990, yep. I was in Tassie. That's yeah. right. I was, uh, I was still living in Sydney. I was a flying player to Hobart. Yep. And part had... of you coming to Rye was uh, the Gerrards, wasn't it? Teddy Gerrard and Sammy Gerrard and the guys? Uh, yeah. Well, they, they were uh, a big involvement. And also, and it was because of they had a friendship with my brother Damien. Yes. That's right. And uh, and then I think Damien said, "Well, if you play, I'll play." Yep. And then then it just went from there. And then we and yeah, we, gonna... we got Paul as well. He played a few games as well, didn't he? In a, in a couple in '92, I think when '91, Pierce he was coach, Mickey Pierce. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's gun, right. Gun yep. player, and and you took over from Mickey '92. Yeah, correct. But do you remember yep. the tragic accident in '91 on the field at Footy Field at Rye that um, probably cost us a grand final appearance? Was that against Chelsea? Against Chelsea, Tony. That was in 91. 91. Right? Some bloke did his knee in 91, round seven. Right, Cost you right. the premiership, Tony. And yeah. So, and so, is that when you did your knee? That's right. <laughs> it is, Tony. It is. It's exactly right. I'm glad you remember, my friend. Yeah. No, that's right. I was yeah. just telling when we were talking well, about I mean, 91. It certainly, certainly. Absolutely, it cost us. <laughs> but you, uh, yeah. you, had a, you had a fantastic year in 91 yourself, Tony, with a leading goal kicker for that year, winning the, the medal and um, and obviously taking Ryan to the finals in 1992. Yeah, well, listen, it was a, um, it was a, great, uh, a great time and, and Ryan was you know, one of my favourite clubs and uh, really very fond of, of the club and everyone that I met down there and you know, I'd like to spend more time down there. But 91 was was great and in 92 well I'd never had any, any aspiration to coach but you know I decided that I'd stay on and Mick Pierce was going to I'm not sure whether he was going to stand down but I, I suppose I had an inkling to stay on and, and, and Captain Cates and I and I did that for, for that particular year and it was very enjoyable oh, the only thing I do remember you know my kids um, you know doing a Halftime speech and one of my young boys might have been three holding my leg while I'm giving the speech. That was the thing when you've got a young family. Yeah, no, I remember that. But uh, hey, the, Tony, the the it's Tony Blackford here, mate. The other thing that you hey, did, Tony. mate, was you, you really embraced the the competition. And back then, interleague was such a a big part of um, local football, and you really embraced interleague as well. Yeah, no, I really enjoyed that. And I think, I'm just not sure whether I only played that one year, but I know that I played in a game, played in a game out at, out at Sunbury. And we might have also played a game up at Swan Hill Swan Hill, Hill. Or Swan Hill yeah. Yes. Um, but uh, now we had a pretty good team and good good bun- Richard bunch of Cousins fellas, was there as well, I think, at the, in one of those interleague right. games. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think that he must have played in 92. Was yeah, yeah 92. it would have been 92. Ninety-two. Yeah. No, no, it was uh, it was great, uh, great times. Well, interesting that little boy he was holding my leg. Well, he's thirty-three and lives in London now. <laughs> so, Tony, Tony, it's Troy Callahan here, mate. Thank you very much for coming on the show, That's mate. Right. We've got uh, Al Glamble here, mate. He's like a little chihuahua. He wants to ask you a couple of questions, mate. No, not more. <laughs> Actually, do you know, Tony, they're going to put a photo up. <laughs> do you know? Are you going to put that photo up? Are we going to make that photo, what, at 1971? Indeed, mate. Is it still, is it still <laughs> haunting you? Got that, Fuzz? The smallest, <laughs> the, the smallest bloke playing I, Little League. Oh, jeez. Oh, have, have, have a look at that one. What about Darren Crocker <laughs> sitting behind us, <laughs> hoping for the Hail Mary there? But that is Tony Morewood, number 10 there. He was, he was our best player, along with Stevie Wright, back in the day in the South Melbourne is Little League. Is that 10 or 16? We won, well, we were under 11s, in, fa- in actual 11. fact. No, the number, yeah. yeah. That's so, an amazing photo, though. That's 1971's, uh, uh, you know. Harry Beitzel. 50 years ago, obviously. Yeah. And uh, I did speak to Al, and he, when he said, we played with you in the South Melbourne Little League mm. in yeah, 1971. 
So, <coughs> Tony, we were talking, Billy was saying, oh, he played VFL and with Blackie and that. And Al goes, oh, yeah, I played Little League and, uh, with Tony Morewood at um, South Melbourne. I see he's claim to fame. It is anyway, Tony. <laughs> it's, Tony, after oh, all, you went back to the, VF, the VFA, didn't you? Or the VFL to Frankston? Well, yeah, I went to Frankston for for one. Well, I didn't know how long I would do it, but I just did it for, for the one year. And then then um, I decided that I'd finish my career where it started at Noble Park. And I went back to Noble Park and I had two years there. And then I think that, that I was 35 then when I finished at Noble Park. And then the next two years, I played. I mainly played off and on with Rye. Really. That's right. Well, I remember you were you were before your time because they were all saying about Daisy Thomas playing, helping Sereno seconds out the other week. But uh, I remember back in I think two thousand five, Tony, when you were well into your forties, you played a game was, with the Rye reserves to help us out. Do you remember that's that? Right, that was, I was forty five. Forty five, and we've got yeah, a photo Shawnee up there Appleford now. Appleford next to you. We had Potsy Appleford, who he's played four hundred and sixty games at Rye, and uh, Adam Dyer there. But yeah, you helped us out that day. You came down for a past players day, and just happened to have your gear in the boot, <laughs> and uh, you played the game. So it was, we really appreciated that back then. It's fantastic. No, it was it was good fun. I don't I couldn't walk for three weeks afterwards, <laughs> but uh, but uh, no, all all good, mate. Are nah. you doing anything with footy now, Tony? Or have you? I know you were involved with the Swans there for a while, and are you still doing anything with? With the uh, the AFL side? No, 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 no. So I was with the Swans for a long time in a, a senior executive role. So I looked after two two main areas. And but I left about two and a half years ago. Uh, I went to be CEO of the facility company. And but I've just left there a couple of months ago. I'm going off to do my own different portfolio career. I'm I'm a I'm not executive director of a couple of boards, and and I'm doing some. Uh, I've, I obviously work with a executive leadership development company. What, so. Tony? What, what you know with Jeffrey Edelston passing away this week? What about the time when he he took um, Sydney Swans on board, and you were up there during those glamour years? Well, it was certainly um, he, he was great. I mean, Jeff was he's. He obviously has a insecurity in the sense that he's a very quiet person, very quiet, and very humbling when you're in alone with him. But he obviously needed to have publicity around him and with the regard to the, the women that he's had alongside Chicks him. But he was, he was really good for he was good for the Swans in the in the first few years we were in Sydney. It was very difficult to get media exposure at all. But when the doctor came on board which aligned with actually getting a new coach and some really good players, well, suddenly we got media exposure that we'd never seen before on the front and back pages. And so what it did, it, you know, it, it was the start of football and sport becoming entertainment. Yep. I did and see, I think your first game that up there was a massive game, Carlton, I think it might have been, back in the, the mid-'80s. And it was, a, 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 you know, they packed the, the, their CG out with... You know, thirty odd thousand people, which has never been done before in an AFL game, and that was all because Edelston had got the the Swanettes up and about. Oh, the cheer squad, the cheer the, squad, the, and uh, you would have probably played in that game, Tony, and it was just massive for yeah. footy up there. Yeah, eighty six. No, it was a it was a great it was a great year, eighty six, eighty seven. But eighty six was we finished on top of the ladder in eighty six, and it, but the last game of the year we lost our captain to our back, Dennis Carroll, with a knee injury, and we would have. I'm very confident we would have just about made won the premiership. But then it was just the early stages. It wasn't a national competition, so we had to come to Melbourne for all our finals. Yeah, yeah that's fair. No home finals. And so, you know, we lost, we, we lo we lost both finals. Mm. So unfortunately. Well, Tony, thanks very much, mate. We could talk to you all night, but uh, I know you're uh, pressed for time. And thank you very much. We do appreciate it. Um, and everyone listening, uh, really appreciate you coming uh, on board. Thank you very much, Tony. No, no, thanks, it, mate. It's a... Pleasure. I hope the competition's going great and yep. uh, one of my favourite times. Bye bye. Good Thanks, on you, Tony. Tony. Cheers, mate. Thanks, mate. Well, he was a gun, wasn't he, Tony? Oh, I mean, terrific. I, I was probably 22, 23 then when he came to In Rye. your prime, too, Billy. Stra yeah, straight from AFL. And just the way he trained was just he floated. unbelievable. Mm. Yeah. The fittest player I've played with. In, yeah. In, in, yeah he's just Didn't play with me and Bobcat. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, th you think about him. He, you, you, you played with him. He wasn't yeah. a, a man of 
great stature. In yeah. other words, he wasn't big, no, was very wiry. Strong. To think that he could um, do what he did mm. over 200 and something games at the Swans. Yep. I d- he, I d- and he had Blake, you know, obviously player. coming back to our comp back then, it was a you know, pretty tough comp with Blake's. And he, you know, I used to watch him against Ian Boswell, for example. Yeah. And, you know, Boswell's a physical player. And, you know, I, and, and he just run him around. And by after half time in the third or fourth quarter, they couldn't keep up with him. So they tried to knock his head off maybe in the first quarter. Really? Couldn't do it early first half. He'd just run, he'd run and run. But there were some big centre half backs in those days. Yeah. And Tony would just run them into the ground. It's, uh, I, d- I haven't had the pleasure of uh, seeing him play or uh, meeting He's a very serious guy. No, he's quiet. Yeah, quiet, he's just quiet. Just, yeah. He's just quiet. Yeah, yeah he's a quiet, key. great yeah. from a great family, yeah. you know, um, the Mords. And if you look back at uh, his brother it, Shane's been coaching Dingley for yeah, a long time. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, you know, the three the three brothers who played the so many games. I think they're third on the list. Or oh, Selwood. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, the, of the list oh, of yeah. brothers to play AFL footy. But we, but we well, always go we, at Karinga, We always get the shit brother. Like we the Hallows, we get the shit Hallows, <laughs> uh, the Maurices and all that, and then. We got the shit Morewood because we got Andy Morewood that never played footy as a yeah. come and play assistant coach. So. We had Damien, he was good. And we had Paul, obviously yeah. Paul, and we had and we, we had, had Damien. Damien, we, uh, Damien yeah, come yeah, to yeah, for yeah. a couple of years. He's yeah. a good fella. That's nah, funny. Well, uh, it was fa- fantastic to have um, such a uh, high potential player, um, p- a past player from the Mornington Peninsula of, uh, Football Association. On we're going to um, we're going to have a few segments. Um, moving through for the next few weeks. And the first one we're going to be doing is Take the Piss. So, Carty does this. I don't know what's going on with Take the Piss. So, who have we got first week here? Um, Let's take a look on the screen. Oh, you effing idiots. <laughs> You're a dick. So, we can, we can shoot Pretty for Pretty close. Have a look hey? at that. Hey, no, well, I don't know about have that, Have a look mate. at you there, mate. Fresh-faced. Was, Which uh, one's you, Troy? Hey, you an idiot. <laughs> 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 hey. <laughs> Al's <laughs> Al, Al, uh, the only one that was bigger than me at 16. I was going to so say, 15. you're 16 or 18 there. Nah, 16? I was 15, yes. actually. Well, I was first year of under-18s, but I was, oh. uh, yeah, I was a bit of a man-child. Oh. I was good, good on the stripper nights at the footy club with old Digger and Wally and all that, and they used to get me in. It was we knew the skiing then, too. What's you, Goose doing there? Is he running away? Did he jump out of a window? <laughs> Mate, no, okay, so you we're on can the remember fo- this, can't you, Billy? I or? reckon I can remember this. They did a in promo the back in the late 80s, early 90s, and... It was in the leader or one of the the Gazette, I reckon it was the like the oh, Gazette or the, something. Yeah. So, and the Goose, he was look. Man, let's stop him. You know, let's let's paint him as he should be. Goose was the, the best man. player in the competition. Yeah. He mm. was the man. He's kicking hundred goals every year and Mo- you know, yeah. an absolute gun. And he was the the poster boy. He was the he poster was the mayor boy. of Morning today. Oh, yeah. oh. Well, funny you say that because he cut, was cutting grass yeah. too. You know, yeah, 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 yeah not, know, not just on the green side. Is that another, <laughs> <laughs> is that another <laughs> segment? <laughs> We, um, he was good on and off the field. Yeah, really, bloody hard. We uh, funny to say that Carts and I had a conference call with him on um, Sunday just to talk oh, about really? a bit of shit and about this photo just to get the okay. And Carts, he said, "Are you happy with that photo?" No, I'm goose. He goes, "Oh, I haven't seen it, mate. Oh, geez, I got good guns." He goes, "Actually, that was from the Herald Sun on the 15th of August." <laughs> and uh, no, he's a, he's a great guy, so he's going to be coming in in the next couple of weeks. The goose, but um, there's probably no better full forward. Oh, um, mate, oh. I haven't seen one. No, nah. And, well, yeah. Talking and about ears where they tried to punch the, the heads off, and yeah. I've seen him get his head that many. Yeah. He'd, he'd have to have some sort of concussion. I, I think. Goose. I think. I think he Can't was you probably, tell? I think, <laughs> I think <laughs> he was probably blessed to have probably the best fullback in modern era uh, down the other end to him because he had he did uh, Garrett. He was one of the best fullbacks going. Around. Yeah, Garrett. Garrett was a good player. Yeah, no, he's fantastic. And oh, he yeah. played until he was in his late thirties. Yeah, 30s. yeah, yeah. Of, great footy. They had family. a wonderful era though, didn't they, Mornington? Yeah. Oh, you're not wrong there. The yep. plays they had running around that midfield. I mean, we don't goose. You got to kick him and you got to mark him and you got yep. like smack in the back of the head and everything. But the, the delivery he got from Singleton, Reece Singleton, oh, Reece yeah. Singleton. Laurie Knott. Laurie Knott. But Laurie Knott was sitting in the forward pocket. But Goose would say, "Get out, Laurie. Get out." Yep. Yeah. yeah. No, you're not wrong. Okay. So since we've been going for the last couple of weeks on the past players page, we've um we've had a few people that put up of um. Few posts and uh, it's got a lot of traffic and uh, old Strop Neil, uh, absolute gun. Um, he rings me every day and messages me going, "Oh, pity you've got to put this photo on me." He's put on an absolute crack. I tell you what, you wouldn't want to be in a bar fight if you're around those three guys and little uh, Gary Carpenter. Is that yeah, Gary Carpenter? Little Gary there? Carpenter, there. Al Glanville, you would have played a lot against these guys, mate. Um, I, I played against. I played with and against all but Gary. So, who, yes. Who would you have wanted to be, in a, if you could pick one you'd not, not uh, have a punch on with, who would you go? Uh, um, Dale's daughter. Dale's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Strop's tuned in too, boys. Strop's tuned in. Hey, Strop, no. if, uh, you can message in, mate, but um, I've got, don't try and uh, bullshit and say you haven't messaged mate, because I've got them here for the boys anyway, mate. But um, I'm going to get you in the next couple of weeks, That's mate. That's after their premiership. 
That, yes. that, was that in 93 or 94? The big unit. Which, which club was he playing at at that stage? That was that Karen. About Karen. That's Karen. Karen. That was Karen. Yeah, yeah, right. It was a shame that Karen folded, folded yeah, in yeah, the time, yeah. boys, because, I mean, part of us growing up, Karen were yeah. a huge side, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alan. You know him better because you're around that Edith Vale, Bomb Beach, yeah. Chelsea it was the area. the worst ground to play on, yeah. I Strop swear. will tell us what. You, what has Strop come through with a year yet? Come on, Strop, get on that. Well, well, talking about blokes us, Talking about yeah. blokes who have got a bit of time. Since this has come to pass players, Paige, it's been fantastic. There's some blokes who have got some time on their hands. Oh, Strop. Al Glamble, oh, pity, yeah, but Strop yeah. is another one. <laughs> Strop is on, and the Xetty Turner, Bloody um, Kevin Miles, and oh, yeah. Miles uh, Jeff it. Dyer from yeah. Chelsea. None, none, of have, are, none of us have got any mates. Well, well no, no, that's right. COVID, they've got some time, but it's been yeah. great, those photos. It's, um, yeah, you awesome. know. Well, it's all about memories, Billy, isn't it? I played Kenny Soul. Bond Beach, obviously. Yeah. So I think round was three. He, it was he as mad as everyone said? Or oh, maybe yeah, a little yeah. bit younger? Was he I as was, crazy as. Oh, like, I've heard yeah. from the Pines and that's sort of like um, Kenny Burt and that. And um, Strop always told me he punched shit out of all of them. But that's just Strop, you know what I'm saying? But was he was Ken, a pretty, was, pretty he was, tough. Was man, solely Kenny. pretty tough. No, he was yeah. hard. Because Porky, hard. Porky Wearsmith, um, he said he's, he's one of the hardest yeah. blokes of. Oh, definitely, definitely. I don't think he was particularly dirty. Nah, just no, he was it. tough. He yeah. was just tough. If some, if there was a scrap on, Solly yeah. just get out of his way. Yeah, yeah. eyes for the ball and just yeah. tough. He, and he went to Pines. Obviously, played yeah. Pines. Yeah. He's a cracking fellow too. He's an absolute yeah. cracker. Just, just on possum, he was telling me, you know, they there was one thing um, pity you talked about, and which is the toughest or the roughest yeah. game that you said. Anyway, they a lot of people talked about the Seaford Chelsea game at Seaford on the railway parade. Last game of the year, Chelsea yep. had to win by nine or ten goals to, to make the finals. And um, they run down the race, Chelsea, right? And um, they go straight over to the railway side. Seaford are doing their warm-ups. And Rocky Porter ran past one of the blokes, one of the Seaford blokes in the warm-up and just knocked him, knocked him clean yeah. out, right? So then the game's on. They reckon it was one of them. And there was eight reports from that day. Um, and Chelsea didn't win by the margin that they needed to. And cut a long story short, they it was a brutal game. It was around about yeah. the time when Sunday games were huge. Come into come yeah. into play. Seaford, Chelsea, Can you remember Peter it? Fowl, Chelsea, oh, you could you couldn't get you couldn't Pine, get Pine Seaford. Yeah. Massive. Spot there. If it any if awesome. anyone wants to uh, message in, carty has got their headphones on. So if you want to message, tell us who the toughest guy ever, and we'll put it on. We'll talk about it, guys. We got <laughs> Possum there as well. Um, just before I get back to Blackie. Um, Possum, he's going to come on in the next couple of weeks. We've been uh, going messages with Carty, but there was going to be a um, a pro am boxing fight with. Uh, we're going to have uh, football players fighting footballers in a pro am with uh, Kane Watts, uh, one of my good mates, and um, only Carty and I were the, um, the only ones that sort of know. He called out old Robbie May, so we might we might um, bring that footage up next time. Uh, so that would have been a good fight. That would have been a good one. Robbie oh, so Mace. he did it. Yeah, he? buddy. Oh, this was only 18 months ago. 18 months ago, yeah. I've got it on my phone. Yeah, and I've sent, it to, I've sent it to Gaz, and he goes, you're joking, Troy. He goes, he, 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 so he's called him out. So uh, maybe we might um, we might get it going in the next couple of So years. who called out who? Ah, uh, Post just that I said. Oh, um, yeah, Robbie Mace, come out. Macy was a good fella too. Macy's was a great, great bloke. Yeah. And yeah. there's a tough footballer too. Yeah. Like yeah. Macy, yeah. he was... Uh, yeah. Yeah, and that Coach Roy and, obviously and, played and, with him. You know, and, and Roy. Poss, Poss was a tough oh, fellow yeah. oh, when yeah. he was playing. Hey. But, you know, and you look at Macy, and Macy was a tough – but they've all mellowed, you know. Boz, yeah. Ian Boswell, yeah. he was a very tough yep. player. Yeah. But they've all all mellowed. And, yep. um, no, but was Marty Hamling? He was a bit of a rough nut out there. It's safe. Emu. Yeah. Emu. Yeah, he was yeah. a bloody good player. Yeah. There, was yeah. a lot of was a there was a lot of posturing going yeah. on back yeah, in the day. And it was – It was a different era, though, Al, wasn't it? I mean, the era that Bealey and I – Grew up in was a little bit different than yours, yeah. where and and yours was very brutal, wasn't it? It was art. Yeah, had, like, to, go case, little, had yeah. to go for a little eighteen-year-old on steroids. It was scary. Yeah, yeah. my first yeah. game was game. against Chelsea at yeah. Chelsea, and yeah. uh, it was a it brutal. wasn't a Sunday game, yeah. but it wasn't yeah. back. Um, it was back. Adam was a child, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Adam>. <laughs> yeah. big rivalry, one of they. I it mean, was, behind it Seaford was insane. Was oh, huge Chelsea, feeling. Edith Fowl, obviously Chelsea. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Edith Fowl, Seaford. Um, you know, Chelsea. See, Bomb Beach weren't in the in that division. They were in the B at that stage, weren't they? Were indeed, and they they were having tough times with Pines. Yeah, but that was. 
massive games. Um, I used to someone's going on a Sunday, get, travel off to watch a Seaford Pines game. Yeah. Oh yeah, they were, they were hard hard games to watch. Uh, to, uh, would have been hard games to play and good to watch. They were yeah, hard. They were playing. hard games to play. So with with those photos, we've obviously um, and then um, ring out down at um, Serrano. He's obviously had his hands full in the last couple of weeks. Oh, he's been um, busy, hasn't he? Yeah, we, 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 but um, Blackie won't talk about Serrano. But Ringer put on a photo about um, one of the best players I've played, and Daniel Digger Watts says um, Guy Stringer was. One of the Fantastic. best players ever. Unbelievable. But, but the, the beautiful thing about Guy, he could play forward or back. Yeah. Um, and he could kick both feet yep. 60 metres, yeah, you know. Yeah, he was a massive yep. kick. And a tough play too. Like yeah. A physical yeah. play. Physical. You know. Bloody cool. hard. He was uh, – but to play the, the amount of games he played, the longevity. Yeah, he you know, was, himself, He was just he? one of those guys. So yeah. I don't know – Obviously, I've got the wrong shape, but he's just a fit guy that just looked yeah. fit. And he's probably, I haven't seen him for a long time. Yeah. No, he, he's, still, he's still fit as. Very fit. What's he, electrician. Four six, four yeah, something like that. He's an electrician. electrician. He he does a lot of ba- mountain bike riding and that sort of stuff now. Yeah. He's uh, still in good nick guy. And we talk about other guys now. We'll get a Teddy Turner, which, uh, one of my favourites, and down having a beer with uh, at EDS. Put on a photo of old as a Martello. Mate, what an actual champion. I never normally trust anyone that doesn't drink because I don't mind a sherbet here and there. <laughs> uh, but uh, as a, what a fantastic guy, mate. Al, you've you've uh, what, been around here 40 years? Known him since he was eight. Yep. Um, just he was, he was always a wonderful footballer and a great athlete, but uh, particularly um, he developed really quickly. Mm-hmm. He wasn't a man child, but it, it seemed to happen in a couple of years. Yep. Six foot four. And uh, could run like a gazelle, anyone, jump over. A, well, to this day, it's the best mark I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. He took on Ty Esler's head. He oh, was did standing he? bolt. <laughs> Ex Richmond bloke, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, Ty. Yeah, yeah, him and Danny, yeah. him and Danny yeah. Crichton had some times yeah, right. together. Yeah, yeah. 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 about Teddy Turner too. He, he he's been talking himself up, oh, and he, he, he when he gets on this show, he wants to deliver because he smashed some photos of himself on there too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Teddy, him, him and Possum are on next week, so we'll get them. We'll get yeah. them going. You know, in a kick, uh, you know, he kicked me once, Teddy. I hope he brings that up. He, no, he ankle tapped me. Tripped. Does that happen down at Yes. Pardon me? They kick bikes down at EDS? No, they don't. I know the Chelsea EDS um, rivalry. My, uh, one of the best mates and boss, uh, Daniel Bowie, says, oh, we hate EDS. Well, we really don't. Hate we really don't hate them. But we love to hate them. And it's just it's just the footy. And it's a, it's what we grew up with as yeah. kids. Because yeah. Chelsea and Aspendale, yeah. it, was, it was on. Yeah. It was good spirited. Great mates with a lot of them down there. When I uh, remember playing in the under-18s and then there was a seniors game and we had a star-studded team. And... Um, boxing down in the days, everyone you know around um, the peninsula area went to Johnny Horn in Carrum for boxing, and then um, we had Rick Norman, absolute superstar, built like you, but he wouldn't play to Brisbane. <laughs> you had a guy, Robbie Lemon, was it? We Robbie didn't Lemon? do. And there was a punch on. I thought, oh shit, because Rick Norman can go like a thrash machine, absolutely. I, Back him. He was Golden Gloves, wasn't he? Oh, well, Golden Gloves is only Vic State title. Like, and as an American point of view, like, Golden's no, Yeah, but he could fight. Him and Porky, unbelievable. But um, tell us about that, that day that, where they had punch on, mate. And what, what did the Rock say to you after the game? Well, I'd done Rock for a four or five years prior to that game. We shook hands <coughs> before the start of the game and all that sort of stuff. And we had a, we had a bloke called Robbie Lemon who went to Melbourne. And um, uh, he's, part, he's part Indigenous and uh, just a prodigious talent, but he loved the squirt. Yep. He was, um, he'd be turn up to train and pissed, he'd turn up to games pissed, but he'd still turn it on, yep. but he loved to scrap, he loved the, he loved the fight yep. more than a feed, and poor old Rick, um, there, was, there was an incident of, of something, and Rick walked up just to grab him to push him, Yeah, and he went bang, and Lemon jawed him, yeah. and he come up into the game, he goes, mate, you know how he talks, yeah, yeah, yeah. mate, What's up with this lemon bloke? <laughs> mate, what's wrong with him? I see he's a bit different. He said, mate, he whacked me, mate. <laughs> and he, uh, they were going, is it like, uh, Rock, um, he goes really well, as I've um, said before, but uh, Robbie Lemon just sort of shook him and he just threw about. He didn't know what hit him. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. Uh, but it's uh, fantastic. I just want to tell, while we're on EDS, mate, one of my favourites to watch growing up and uh, was Evan Ryder. Mm-hmm. Mate, he used to take a specky every time we watched him. He, look, well, he did. He Easy. was very talented. He had a run of six games. He was at St. Bede's though, with, with um, Heinz. He was indeed. Yeah. And, and he came week. I don't, I'm not sure if it was with John at St. Bede's, but he certainly came across to Aspendale. And um, we had a plethora. We were just, you know, you, you start winning and people yeah. turn up. It really yeah. is. It was. Um, yeah, didn't he have a grand final? Kicked yeah. seven. I reckon in the grand final. He won the medal. It was a Chelt. He won the medal. It was a Chelt. I'm sure he kicked seven in a grand final. Yeah. Well, yeah, in, not, best yeah. on in 1999, when um, the whips were cracking and the game was getting towards a, a yeah. close, and we yeah. were in, we were behind. 
and Evan took a mark um, at centre forward that was a specky, the mark yeah, of the day. Yeah. And then he had the audacity from 55 metres out to kick a drop punt through the goals. That's and we end up winning this game. Yeah. But he, that was coaching? Year, uh, Brett Wright. Jesus. Yeah. No, just a super team, super yeah. player. Yeah. Prodigious talent. No, that's fantastic. Okay, I put on one that um, got a bit of traffic. He's, he goes under the radar a little bit because um, he played at Pierce Dale and um, obviously the change of leagues and that and then come over to Kringle and... To this day, like I keep on harping on Daniel Watts and um, saying how good people are. Peter Doll, uh, can you guys remember Peter Doll? Oh, Peter bloody Dole? oath. Yeah, bloody, bloody oath. He was a thumping kick. Like, we could hear it up on the hill. Like we were Wonderful. Like, we were, you know, Did he well, start at Coringal? No, Pierre Star. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and correct me if I'm wrong, anyone out there, but um, we were bloody 14 drinking behind the goals and we just to go and watch this young fellow. You know, he was fantastic. He was a, a wonderful. Sorry, player. 18. <laughs> yeah. He had a great league. Yeah. And he was, you know, the inner league, he was, he was one of the first picked. Yeah, oh, yeah. Because he was just, he could destroy teams in yeah. five minutes, take a game away yeah. from them yeah. because he could kick 60 yeah. metre goals. And he was an angry prick. And he, he was, was a bit like he was Stuart Jew. He was yeah. Yeah. in a sense. Yeah. Yeah. We had a Brett Wright build, didn't he? Spoke, yeah. Low yeah. centre of gravity, big yeah. strong, big shoulders, big yeah. biceps, big left foot kick. Yeah. And he, he was a gun player at both clubs. He had yeah. character and he was real cheeky and yeah. he was a terrific fella. Yeah. Did he play? Quiet. Was it Pierce Dale and Kringle? Did he go anywhere else? Or uh, just two I clubs? think he went after Kringle. I think he went up. Lang Lang or something? Yeah, it's, yeah that's right. Lang and Lang. now he's, now he's um, the thing like with, he was a the, uh, fisherman. The thing with Dolly Wright, he couldn't get anything out of him. Yeah. And then he's when pretty he, quiet. He, very quiet. But then when he knew that you loved fishing or a passion of his, yeah. he's a man he, couldn't, fisherman, isn't he? he couldn't shut him up. Yeah. Yeah, oh, you just funny, have to hold him back a bit. Funny you saying that. He said to me, oh, you know, we'll go out having a beer. I said, oh, yeah. He goes, oh, do you like fishing? I said, yeah, no dramas. And it was a Thursday night. He goes, let's go fishing. So we went, took him down the ground. And just, see, he goes, that's a different sort of fishing that you're talking about, mate. I don't <laughs> like going out on the bay. I said, no, there's a few, a few sherbets there, mate. He's a, he's a champion, though. Yeah. Um, and uh, he's very quiet and he's very humble. Like, he won a couple of league medals, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. No, nah, he's. Um, he was very good. Yeah. No, you're and, not. And Pierce Dale were very dominant. During yep. those times. Yeah, that's yep. right. And they were, bloody oath. The other one, uh, Pine's great, and um, he'll tell you that he's great, and um, Jess Vigos, his little shadow. They're both like shadow. You think of Pines, that you've got, uh, you know, stropping all the boys, but um, Jess Vigos has been fantastic going into the club, and um, he's, I think he's taken on the junior president. I'll tell you what, you right? guys may or may not remember, Jess Vigos was one outstanding footballer. Yeah, yeah. I bet mean, he was five, what was he, five, eight, yeah. five, nine. I met him a couple of years ago. I thought he was just a nerd with a part in his Mate, hair, just an accountant. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, 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 Dunsford's the accountant, isn't yeah, he? Serge, yeah. 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 Serge, Serge, he had was a fine spirit, didn't he, too? I mean, he's a yeah. hundred goal kicker, yeah. half forward nah, flanker. Give me a break. Yeah. Pretty physical. Yeah. He was a very, very, very good yeah. player. And do you know what, uh, to his credit, fast forward to now, um, he got handed the reins at Pines and he's doing a cracking job with yeah, that club. Yeah. He's a hard worker and he's, he's a man of the people and that's, yep. you know yep. what, he's um, he terrific advocate he call, for the club. He calls a spade a spade. Uh, he gets Jeff, excited. and he do, Oh, he does. Yep. Bloody hell. But, um, you know, he's got good, good fellow. And, and, and this is what this is all about because a fellow like Jeff, you know, he's the president of the club now, but he's had a, a history and he's of been course. a past player, yeah. Yeah. right, yeah, Who, right. whose credentials were outstanding. Yeah, yeah. You, you, He's fully invested. Yeah, bloody. Hell. And then uh, talking about Jeff, he's put on this photo. I would not know any of these players, but um, Al, you might be able to help me out here. Who's uh, Jeff Ablett? Who, uh, Gary Ablett? No. Who's, what's going on here? A brilliant player, yeah, Ablett. Yeah, Good goal Ablett, kicker. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yep. Uh, Any more? Um, you know, Ian Sherman Goodman. Oh, he, yeah. He's, Legend. He's, yeah, Benny yeah. Goodman, his son, he played yep. at Rye. I played right. with him at Rye, yeah. But he was and Barry uh, Moore's in in some of those Barry, photos. Barry, Barry Burke. Burke's there, yeah. obviously. Yeah. yeah, right. Absolutely. No, there's some legends in there. Have a look at the photo, though. It's a cracker. Were you playing those days? Or you were a bit young. No. Uh, no. What year was that? Oh, you would have been playing. That would have been. Can't 80, see what was that. Eighty three would have been. Eighty three. Bloody oath. Yeah, you no. Been around so that's that, that's the inner league team, yeah. Yeah, NFL. Yeah. Yep. Or is it, would is have been. someone wearing sunnies in that? Is nah, that? he's got no. glasses. Oh, that's Ian Goodman. Yeah. He would. Yeah. Blackie, you're still rolling with the haircuts around those days, mate. Yeah, I reckon that would have been 83, 80, 83, 82, 83, yeah. something like that. Yeah. But Mark, talking about Mark Dunsford, you're talking about people who put on off the field at Pines. He's been one of the reasons why Pines have yeah. been so successful. Yeah. Because oh, he's put a lot, a, of, a lot of dough into that club and yeah. you know, got them rocking and rolling. And so. I guess, I guess he was like, a good player too. You talk about like getting uh, fantastic players and that to your club. And uh, being a past president, you cannot run a football club uh, without past players and Sponsors and your major sponsors, any sponsor, if they even throw bloody two hundred bucks in, you cannot put a, ga um, uh, a team out on the field, can you? Al? You cannot. 
as a past president, I know that. Oh, um, mate. You know. And the same with Bailey. Yeah, endless yeah. amount of hours to, to all yeah. of you guys. Yeah. Yeah. You put endless. But you do it because you love the club and you love footy, don't you? That's why we do it. Oh, exactly. Right. We the only are, reason we do it. All yeah. the people around here have been involved, committees and presidents yeah. and vice presidents involved in your pity yourself, yeah. obviously. You know, you're, you're turning over three, four, five hundred thousand oh, dollars to, to run a country now, yeah. footy club. Yeah. yeah. So and I'm half volunteers. Of me, I'd take and, probably more. I'm volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> and and Billy, only one team from each division each year can win that flag. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. there's a lot of teams missing yeah, out. Exactly. And there's a lot of time and effort yep. and hard work. Yep. You know, from from the people who do all the strapping to the people in the canteen, the ladies in the, the yep. canteen. Exactly. Yeah, you're not wrong. And speaking of people that do do a lot of work for um, their football clubs down at Hastings, Stewie Gay. Oh, fantastic wonderful man. guy. Great guy. Yeah. I first uh, come across Stewie when I played under 17 interleague yep. team. Yep. Um, yeah. And he's become a, a lifetime friend. Bloody hell. No, he's, he, and he's, um, his knowledge is just a plethora of knowledge in, um, in the MPNFL. Like he said to me when we first put it on, he goes, if you need any history or anything. Oh. But Al, show us that bloody Bible you just brought in from 1991. We'll touch on that in the next 10 minutes or about 18 beers. It's every record from 1991. So no, that, that's just not yet the from year. 1991. The year 1991. Yeah. Yeah. And that, so, that was from Al. Oh, can I talk about Kenny Lyons? You can. No. So yeah. there's, there was a fellow called Ken Lyons who obviously was a, a league director um, and on the committee from the league, but he, he was also heavily involved and played all his football at Edith Vale, Al? He did indeed, yeah. Was he president at Edith Vale? The club rooms are named after him. The club rooms yep. are named after him. The, the league medal for the under-18... Um, yeah, He's named after yeah, him. Yeah, for, for the league for the medal. the Kenny Lyons medal. For the Kenny Lyons medal. Indeed. Um, and he was just a wonderful man, yeah. wonderful man. And I, I was able to he have a such life. a wonderful relationship with Ken. No, that's it. Now, so Stuart Gay, fantastic. He's doing a lot of work. Like they've had their ups and downs. Hasting when um, Dunny went there, and they, were, you know, they were their ups. The wall. Oh, mate, they, uh, they, yeah. they went up. Don't yeah. worry about that. But um, Dunny done well there. Warwick Grain, no. though, the photo of, isn't it? Yes, yeah, definitely. That's, that's yeah. a crib point, though. Yeah, yeah that's but right. But he, he was another hard nut, Warwick Grain. Oh, he was yeah. a typical red-headed player, wasn't he, I reckon? Yeah. Hard at it. Won a mood, he, league he, medal or two you, as well. Oh, yeah. Were you strawberry blonde or red? He was a good player. Al? Was I? Were you strawberry blonde? I was dyed blonde. Dyed blonde, yeah? Yes, absolutely. Nah. Now it's just grey. <laughs> so uh, Stewie, Stewie Gay, he's the, the son-in-law of Johnny Watson, who was another yeah. league director. Yep. And I think John's yeah. daughter has been the president of the Hastings Football Club over yeah, the last right. couple of years. Yes, yeah. no, that's fantastic. And I hope we all still view. And um, thanks very much again. I said it at the start to um, Graham French at uh, Decking Out Melbourne. He's done fantastic. So anyone needs any decking done or pergolas, um, I've actually worked there for a while. And he's got, he puts on, I reckon he's, he's probably employed about 15 to 20 guys are from Kringle. So he really backs. He's been a major sponsor over the last six, seven years. So thanks very much to Graham and the boys. And you've got a job there, Pity, have you? I did. Oh, yeah. But, um, yeah, I uh, burn him a little bit. But um, I can't bloody – I can't go up and down stairs all day, mate. So <laughs> you're going to have a beer. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> No, but we're just going on. Kevin Miles. Now – Another bloke's got a lot of time on his hand. Miles, he? Well, he's, not he's, laying, he's, he's not laying too many he's, bricks on But I tell you, it's great. How many, he smashed them through. He yeah. smashes the, the oh, yeah. likes, the, yeah. the photos, yeah. the comments. But that's what it's about, though, Billy. Although it? Andrew Brady wasn't too happy with him. So I, just, I spoke to Brady. No, this was about it was who was tongue talks. in cheek. And I said, yeah. hey, Brady, he Do was rapping you up. He was rapping you up. No, 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 no. He was rapping you up, Brady. He said, oh, was he? I said, he was, mate. So he was rapping him up about the chit chat on the ground. He said, who were the biggest mouths you played against? Yeah. And Brady was a good chirper. He could get the ball and. You know, and he, he was having a compliment. You remember Braids, don't you? Andrew Brady. Miles, he didn't go too bad himself. Yeah, yeah Miles, he was, was a chirper. He captain yeah, when we were in the 60s. He was a bit 60s. like Bruce Toole, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah, yeah. It was it wing half back. Yeah. You know. every, every kid in the in the um, juniors now have got bloody Kev Miles haircuts. Yeah. <laughs> every yeah. single one of the bastards. Talking about blokes with footy clubs, hasn't he done a lot for Hastings footy oh, clubs? Oh, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. And the, the good thing, you know, you, Glenn talked about earlier how um, they've got – Players of the decades, but they've got players that get inducted into their Hall of Fame and all yep. that sort of stuff, yep. which would be a wonderful thing for our competition to have. Bloody Talk about later. We'll touch <laughs> it. Yeah, exactly, Billy. Bloody oath. Uh, we had Jodie Becker that um, sent in a um, picture of her, um, obviously, dad, uh, Barry Green, uh, Greeno. Um, there's fantastic. Ken, there's Ken Lyons there on the left, Arnold Clark. Um, who else is there? That's Kenny Watson the, up the back. That's the oh, first John, footy record, yeah. isn't it? 1987 when the leagues came together. Yeah. 87, 87 was, I reckon it was. Or maybe 86. But 86. Someone will be able to tell us. It'll be on there. I think it was 86, Billy. You know he killed the record? 
Carty. Bloody Carty. Glenn yeah, Carter. Carter. No. Game f- Mate. So, I, they, you know, Carter's got to see him. He's killed it. But he, I think Carter's, he thinks they can live together. I've yeah. had a chat to him. He reckons they could maybe have a footy oh. record and have gay faces. Hey, and and everyone can live together. <laughs> Bill, it can work if he's printing the bastards. That's exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> what, uh, well, that, that, talk about the record. Like, what, the president's had a meeting and it was costing the clubs yeah. so much yeah. money yeah. each year I was a part to of pr- that. Yeah. to. to Print those records, yeah, and that's yeah. part of the reason. And the the presidents had a vote, and they voted against mm. not spending the money. Yeah, I mean it's a whole completely different chat for another day because we're talking about you know yeah. all these past plays. But honestly, they sh- the league should have a sponsor that sponsors the records. Yeah. in this day yeah. and age, yeah. and you pay your two bucks and all that. Spice anyway, or someone, are they still a sponsor? Bloody yeah. hell. We're moving on. So, Seaford, how that, in the last thirty years they've been fantastic. Um, down um, PK down there and that, but uh, Rob Edgerton, is it Edgerton? Edgerton. Edgerton, Edgerton. Um, put in this photo. What a fantastic, what a fantastic photo. And you know any of them, Al? Yeah, I know most of them. Jeez. Which ones, mate? Will you, is Berkey's old man in that or not? Michael Burke's old man Yeah, in absolutely. That? Um, and uh, Bucky. Bucky's right, yeah. there. There's a handful of players. Uh, Boss is there. John Hunter. Uh, this, uh, gee, who who uh, coached me in 85, Al? Was it Steve Kennedy? 85? Spider Kennedy. I reckon it might have been John Hunter. No, John Hunter. John Hunter. Yeah, right. yeah. That was a long time ago. They, they were unbelievable in those well, he was that late 80s. 80s, weren't they? Spider Kennedy was yeah. in the 2000s, mate. The John two, Hunter, two, I reckon. 27, 28. No, 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 no. That's Steve. Oh, that, sorry. That's another Steve Kennedy. Kennedy. There I, was, reckon, I reckon it was John Hunter. But anyway, someone yeah, might, no, someone might I reckon text in. Yeah. Cartsy, were you anyone asking questions, mate? Well, Teddy Turner's chimed in to say that Kenny Lyons was also president at EDS in 1965. Yep. Joshy Beard reckons... Plackers, this is a perfect platform to you. Tell us about Roy the dog in Tassie. <laughs> Roy. No, that was in New Zealand. Well, that was in New Zealand, was it? Yeah. What about Strop? Is Strop re- re- yeah, right Strop is no, responding to my phone right now, as a matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, Christian Kidd, remember Christian yeah, Kidd? Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he's an ankle yeah, biter. Yeah, you know, he's the a bloke. good player. Great good. Player. good scrapper. Yep. He's a very good mate of mine. He, wants to, he said something about he had to go to hospital, your mother hit him with yeah, her umbrella. Well, I think I don't know if I was playing that game with my brother, but my mother did. I think yeah, she did hit him <laughs> over the head on the boundary because he was trying to tag me and grab me jumper and all that sort of no, stuff. No, he wouldn't we got do close, that. Close to the boundary, my mum hit him over there with an umbrella. That's he was right. a really good he's, tagger. He's spot That's on. the sort of thing that he's happened at Port Melbourne, Billy. I tell you, I tell you, a good gun player in that in the late eighties for Seaford, and you would have played against him. Was Mickey Wiseman. Hello, he was Gee an whiz. absolute gun. Did he played back pocket. He was. Back, he did yeah. indeed. And he used to drop he, barrels. Yeah, Mickey Wiseman. He would have played on you then. Back pocket, he was in back pocket. Oh, you can't resting forward, I, mate. Oh, we're dead. I'd see if he got a wonderful welcome. I did. Yeah. Uh, Billy Clayton in the middle and yeah. Wiseman yeah. in the back line. I never got a kick. Yeah. <laughs> Billy Clayton, he'd have to be. He's in my top 10, Billy Clayton. He's a good player. Very, very good Another player. Another bloke who was a gun player, I don't know, didn't get the recognition, was Jeff Campbell. Jeff Campbell. Half forward flank. He kicked five against us in, a, I think, a preliminary final in 89. <coughs> Were you playing on the half back flank? No, I wasn't. No, I was on half forward <laughs> flank. But Jeff Campbell, he, he he works for Adam Garvey. There you go, at the Ryan News Agency, delivering papers now. Does Jeff he? delivers me papers and yells out, kick five every time he drives past. <laughs> kick five, <laughs> kick five. Throws his paper. But they were, that 85 premiership side at Seaford, uh, just a big, a good, tough team as well, you know, with. Who was coaching? Bucky. Who was coaching? I think it was Johnny Hunter. Hunter. But anyway, yeah. someone can. Slip Someone in. will come in. Someone Stevie come Maddox in. wants to know if you did a quick gym session before you come on out. No, I did not. That's why he had a jacket. They're only doing small weights. They're only doing small weights these <laughs> days. People Al. worried about blackers. They want me to bring him a glass of water with all this beer on the table. <laughs> yeah. I'm, uh, I'm actually going to need an Uber. So, or, or the Dale, if you're watching, you can come pick me up in about 14 beers. What do you reckon, Dale? Uh, just moving on. Uh, it, to anyone that's out there, uh, obviously we've got a few um, followers. Send in your photos. We'll be bringing them up um, every week. Top performers, um, it's, which is a really good segment. Um, we're moving on. I'm going to throw it over to Al Glanville because he can read out the uh, Who Am I. So one of the uh, <coughs> pro- one of the uh, segments we're going to have, it's going to be every week. It's um, Who Am I. So we're not going to guess it. We need you guys to um, text it in and um, Cassie will let us know. So Al, take it over, son. Okay. I played 308 club games between 85 and 205. Uh, two, uh, sorry, 241 senior games. Described as a magician around the goals and won many games off his own boot. Highly skillful and at times had the ball on a string. He was a senior captain in 96 to 99. Runner-up senior best and fairest, 99. So hold there, Al. Just before you go any further, we'll just give a few of the viewers a bit of time yep. to maybe... Have you guys got any any thoughts at this stage? No, nah, not yet. Not yet. No, this Well, there's, well I, there's a clue down the bottom here, but... No, I've got no idea at this point. Keep going. Also has the honour of the club 
Gee whiz, really? Also has the honour of our club home game change rooms named after me. That's I've been a, a bell for me. That's, I've been a vice president for 19 years. Gee whiz, 19 years. This guy's got to get a life. <laughs> or they got a good president. Recruited <laughs> oh, from yeah. Tutkarook. So he's he's from he's could be right down the pointy end. He's a southern a, a, end of the Al, peninsula. Sorry, mate, we've got a winner. We've got a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, Adam Dyer. Adam Dyer, do you know Adam Scott Dyer? Scott Beale. You know Scotty Adam Dyer too. Oh, yeah, buddy, yeah, buddy, yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah. Scott Beale. Adam Dyer, well, I'll have to give him a prize, but I, no, I, didn't, I didn't write this either. They've <laughs> Come set on, me Billy. up. They've set me up here, but it is, uh, it is yeah, well, it is me. So there you go. I, I did read this and went, who's this bloke? Oh, no, it's, uh, but, no, that's a fantastic yeah, right. get. Did, um, you didn't know that was coming on because I didn't know who the winner was either. No, no I obviously didn't. Did. I didn't know. Harry, Harry, Harry Whitty just missed out as well. Oh, Harry Whitty, yeah, he would have known old Harry. So especially that's wonderful, Billy. The, the change room's named after you? It was good, yeah, good honour, mate. That Great honour. About oh, a few years ago, and, uh, yeah, it's nice. Done some of best work in the change rooms. <laughs> yeah. so That's where long. Gary McDonnell started. Oh, oh Gary did. Dave Dr. Elf. Well, Jesus talk, well, well, let's talk a bit about Gary, because um, he, he, was, he got brought up one of the pages, and everyone who has had a rub off Gary. Oh, multiple. And I've... Oh, I tell you what, I, as soon as I stopped playing footy, that's the last rub I ever got off Gary well, McNeil with, because yeah. I only wanted to put up the pain for him to get you to play footy. Yeah. There was no way known I was going to him after I yeah. finished playing footy. Yeah. Oh, but remember. So you reckon you reckon players are a bit soft now? They go, they, they, they're trying to go. Ah, oh, you got four weeks off. And they just go, okay, I'll take four weeks off. Hundred percent. He'd get you, he'd get he'd you get up get from you, a hammy. He'd get, he'd you, get up. you up. You did a hammy and you had to yep. play that week. He'd get you through the hammy yep. and the game and you'd play. You would play calf. And obviously we all know about his ice theory. Ice is crap, he used to say to us. And that was a bit of a, we had a bit of a fall at it right years ago with a couple of trainers because they believed in ice. Gary didn't, obviously. Mm. So that's when Gary, who was Roy's head trainer at one yeah. stage, just said, oh, look, I'm going to do my own stuff. We let him still work out of the rooms. Then he got his business down well, there. Well, he had his up. carpet business yeah. at the same time. Then he got that uh, little, uh, room. little room out the back of the ride news there, near the news agents and get you running up and down the laneway yeah. and around the... Uh, oh, the I'm re- feeling good, Gaz. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he used to say, is it burning? Is it burning? It'll click now. It'll click. Yeah. It'll come out. It'll come. There it goes. Oh, there oh, it oh, goes. Oh, there oh, it oh, goes. Oh, You're oh, right, oh, aren't you? You know. He Spe- was good. Speaking of guys, I just I didn't realise that um, you've been vice president for nineteen years. Obviously, nine you've years, mate. Yeah, yeah. had uh, Mick O'Rourke been president for twenty one. Twenty one yeah, years. 21. So that, that's unbelievable. Yeah. But, well, but, one thing Rise had it's a thing I'd bring up with a lot of people. We've only had five presidents in yeah. seventy two years, yeah. which is an amazing, that's fantastic, amazing thing. And can you just elaborate on it? And correct me if I'm wrong. How many years have you been president? Twenty one. Mick's been twenty one. How yeah. many? P- Footy trips has he been on? Fifty. He was on fifty-five in a row. He went on before COVID. Before COVID. COVID's not. There's the only thing that knocked him out was COVID. <laughs> right. No, How's that? And he's a machine on a footy trip. And I've been on a few with Mick. I think I've been on twenty-five. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's a ripper. He's that, that, that's that's got to be a record. We've got to get it. We've got oh. to. we got to get oh, a trophy. Know, it's just a great servant. That. He's got a couple of rules on trips. He doesn't get home before one o'clock or three o'clock. I think it is. He doesn't go home. Um, he's just a he's a machine for his age, and uh, oh, no, he's, he's a great on, man. Mick he's a plumber, isn't he? He's a plumber, still working. Mm. I'll tell you a quick story about Mick O'Rourke. Yeah, I've had a I've had a right uh, right hip replacement. I'm just about to go and have the left one done on August the sixteenth. Too much zigging and zagging, mate. Yeah, when they do your hip replacement, they say you're out of action for six weeks, right? You have got to be careful, especially for the first three, because that's when it could pop out and all yeah. that stuff. So no driving for six weeks. Take it easy, but for the first three, it's rehab. Sit on a chair higher than your hips and all this stuff. Got to go to the toilet and use a you know, special thing and all that. I rang Mick O'Rourke had his hip replacement a couple of years ago. I rang him the second week. I said, mate, how are you? I could hear something. I said, what are you doing? Working. I'm digging a hole. I'm digging a <laughs> trench. I said, mate, you've just had your hip done. You're only two weeks out. He goes, mate, don't worry. It's only sand. I'm only <laughs> digging in sand. Does, it, is Maddie, does Maddie Yeah, Maddie, Maddie, him, so he and Maddie got a business and they run the business, but that's just the bloke he is. He's an absolute machine and, uh, oh. yeah, they'll um, – you know, Mick's tried to you know, probably see if some blokes want to take over the pregnancy, but uh, he hasn't had anyone who can put the time in and see so he's done, so he's happy to keep doing it and he's great for the club. So well, he's right, got mate. a good right hand man. He's got a good right yeah. hand Al, hasn't he? Yeah. Mate, it, it, was a, it was a friendly face down there. And yeah. it's one of the things I miss about Roy, you, had, yeah. you yeah. just had a wonderful committee. Yeah. When you were doing those raffles that were unfathomable, $100,000 oh, yeah. raffles, and and I used to, I was the president at the time at my club and us, we're trying to run, you know, ten thousand dollar jobs, and you guys are running two hundred thousand yeah, dollar raffles. Nice. And the committee were fighting over yeah. who was going to sell the yeah, most yeah, tickets. No, it was, yeah. it's a, well, that's you, that's why Rye have been successful. Do you, do you think that there's those relationships now in local football? 
Oh, no, I think there is. I would yeah. think so, yeah. yeah. I, I, I is, look yeah. at Aspendale yeah. and look at the, the continuity there. Yeah. Absolutely, mate. No, that, no, everyone's um, working hard. It's all changed a bit because the year has changed. And, you know, look, no, you with look, the opposition clubs. Yeah, but you look at now, like a lot of the second division clubs now, they were first division in this year. Yes. I get what no. Blackie's saying, though. Like, there's not that... It's not that like, we, you can walk into a club yeah. and, oh, Scotty Beal, how are you? And we, yeah. you know, like... Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the younger Scotty generation wouldn't know who true. Scotty Bill is now. Well, nah, you know, the different than they should, exactly. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, the but, clubber, the, but that, what, what gets me to a lot of blokes, you've got you to con them to get, you're not con them, you've got to make them go into the opposition rooms, which Bloody is hope. terrible because when we played, mate, you, you win, lose, or draw, you went in the opposition 100%, rooms. 100%. That's what and, I'm talking and about. You had Uzo and Cokes with Brett Wright and oh, yeah, Dale, Uzo. and you drank with Robbie Jackson, Trumpy in the yeah, Pines rooms yeah. with all the Pines blokes. Well, you, you drank you, with Karinga with Pity and the yeah. boys and, and Digger and those guys. That's what I'm talking about. And Unfortunately, you probably run the gauntlet a few times because you'd had a couple, but you um you used to go and have a beer mm. or an Uzo. It's or funny is that we were just talking back about that before I roll this up and get in the next segment. But um, remember a couple of years ago about the Tats Lotto you um you guys have been running yeah, the, for the years. Pa- yeah, the t- so yeah, yeah. Billy um told me about it. Back you told me you told too many clubs about it. Yeah, they're no, all on it now. But, but, yeah. um, now every club's doing it. It's just good. But you make twenty grand. You make twenty grand. Especially through COVID, um, it's really got a um you know a lot of clubs were more. Well, still have one year. down the bottom. It mate. goes all yeah. year. That's the thing with the pity. Yeah, Mick O'Rourke yeah. was the one that brought that. I got yeah. that to right. But twenty grand. Yeah. No, nah, that's fantastic. Okay, guys. Obviously, we're um, we're here. We're going to be working over in the next thirty years. So we're going to go on to um, thirty years of footy. So nineteen ninety one. Um, obviously, uh, I was a little bit of a pup, but um, that's why we've got these guys um, in the panel. Uh, fantastic year. We have Divi one, Divi two, premiers for the year. Premiers. I'll throw over to Al Glanville. Oh, Premiers. Is that where we're starting? Yeah, we're going we'll straight go premiers, to the end mate, of the year, mate, are we? That's all we go. That's all we go. Oh, okay. No, we'll actually show up the Bible there, Al. 1991, Al's brought in what, how many? Two records, Al. The start of the year and the end of the year. I've got it all written down here, mate. Okay, yeah. so we'll let, we'll let Al go through. What, from, what um, were some of the coaches round that one? year, Well, Al? there would have been a lot of changes, Blackie, through from round one. And we... Um, we, um, Al brought that up in the um, rooms earlier, mate. There's um, a lot we of changes all, we all, We've one. all played at football clubs where... You lose two or three, or you gain two or three, it can make a difference in a year. Yep. And um, there's no difference here, but Blackie, you've just mentioned it. Look at the names of some of these guys here that are coaching in this particular year, 1991. Lee Carpenter, legend. Carl Gwynn. Carl the deceased Gwynn, guys, yeah. great Carl Gwynn. Howard Tarpey made a big difference at Chelsea. Bozza, and coaching. Yeah. Now, a guy called Dave Dumbo, who played at Frankston, oh, yeah. decided to take on Mornington for a Mornington. couple of years. There's another got, story there that I shouldn't bring up. I jumped the fence with Frankston one day and give one in the crowd. He had a Johnny Burke at Frankston. That's another story. <laughs> yeah. And there well, was, no, but uh, tell, talk about Davey Dumbo. And oh, how, no, I can't talk about Dave Dumbo. I'll start cracking up. But there was an incident at... Um, at Mornington. Yeah, at... Yeah. At a huddle, and um, it was very unsavoury, and it caused mm. problems at the club. So I won't go any further. But Josh he became a good foot. He became a good. He's coach. a great footballer, mate. No, but yeah. David Dunbar became a great AFL, coach, didn't he? And uh, he coached Re- Port Melbourne, yeah, yeah. and he became an opposition coach where he, he, he got caught in a tree. Waverly. Yeah, he was in, hiding in a tree. Yeah, watching in, Hawthorne. In, a bit of a in, character in, a, in workers' gear or That's something. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Joshy Kendall turned up to YC, as did Richard Whitfield, of course, yeah, a, a yeah. bloody great footballer. Jeff Saru was coaching at Big Somerville. Somerville. Uh, Somerville had a bad year that year. You know what? They started yep. off with the cracker. They gave Aspidala hiding in the first game yep. and lost the next 17. So it wasn't a particularly good year for Somerville. Assi. Uh, that was, sorry, just going back on that why I said that pretty much turned and when Kendall went there, didn't it? Well, Mickey Casper turned up and Sean Clark as yeah. well. I mean, they already had a pretty good team. Yeah, but yeah Mickey Casper was a great yeah. fella. So it Scotty made, it, Bingley? Was it, it makes, no, later. Was that later. Was later. Yeah, no, only later. just later, though. Yeah, only just later. What a terrific player. Uh, Bertie Wright uh, at Aspendale, but we lost Bartholomew and Bart. Oh, I say we, um, you know, people know yeah. we're on my yep. legend. So, um, Piercy was coaching him, and Tony turns up yep. like big yep. inclusive. Timmy Luskin was on a hide into nothing because, um, well, Red Hill just won the flag, they got promoted. Nine and just nine. going back one thing, talking about tough players, Mick Pierce. Mick Pierce, don't yeah. even tell me about tough, mate. mate Gee whiz, he, is, he was he tough. He's the toughest player I've played with. One of them. He, uh, I got involved in the punch up in the 84 grand final playing for Bomb Beach. Red I, Hill. I whacked Stevie Trot and um. And Mick runs in, he goes, that's not your game, but mate, grab me by the throat. And I did set put myself, <laughs> yeah. and uh, I ran away. Uh, that's how he used to talk, Mickey, too. He had that oh, big yeah, scar he said, that's not your bloody caper, mate. <laughs> well, it wasn't my caper. I, I had a rush of blood. But anyway, but the writing was on the wall for Timmy at the start of the year. They got beaten by 20 goals in a practice game. And, you know, they won five games for the year, but it wasn't, it wasn't a great year. Now, at the end of the season, the big guns were, were cracking. And that was YC, Pines, Mount Eliza and Seaford. And it was... No surprise in that era because 
These these were the biggest Sunday games of all time. Yep. This mob, and they were flying. So they were Sunday games. Yeah. Well, well you know the the, the mix and match. You, they had, Seaford and Pines had to be. Yeah. yeah. Had Imagine. to be. And Chelsea and Seaford. Yeah. All these. You know, like you can only have so many Sunday games. Um, as we mentioned, Tony Moore. Kicked 88. Yep. Um, that, that, there was, go back to that granny. Is that the granny that Whitfield went off? No. No, no, no it, wasn't. it wasn't the one. No. But alongside of Tony, Blake called Goosey, he kicked a few goals that year and also to Whitfield. So yep. three, you know, like that was like now. I reckon that year Goosey kick. was on Geelong's list still, wasn't he? Wasn't he? He didn't play the whole year at Mornington. He played at Richmond in the reserves yeah, and he went yeah. to Geelong yeah. and yeah. it was at the time when yeah. Ablett and... Um, oh, geez, Linda, was, Linda. Oh, a whole bunch of players were playing. I reckon that year... Me and Goose were emergencies in the inner league side. And, oh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, he might correct me wrong because he was playing up the line. Obviously, he would have made it otherwise. But we got it made an emergency and we didn't go because we thought, oh, we're not going. And someone pulled out. Oh. Anyway, we should have. one of us should have went. But anyway, I don't Speaking know. Speaking of inner league, Chrissy Bull coached him that year. Yeah, Chris Bull. He yeah. posted yeah. a couple of years and the great Shane Williams was his runner. But look, it was an interesting year. Um, the lowest score kicked was, ah, you know, I'm beating them up here, but Summy kicked three goals eight. One day, and they also had two or three games of four goals. It was a, it was a shocking year for them, and they they touched up Aspidale in the first game. They yeah. kicked eighteen something goals. The highest score was scored by Pines. They kicked thirty eight, and they had four games of over thirty. Who do you know the goal kickers in that game? I don't know no. the goal kickers, but the big unit was a part of it. Yeah. Strop, he yeah, was, he was just kicking yeah. ten, and 11 Strop, and twelve. Text him how many he kicked, mate. Yeah. Just get Andrew the Norris unit. was he still playing there? Yeah, but remember. You know, I hear a lot Chuck, about him. I hear a Chuck, lot about Chuck's, him. Yeah, yeah. Andrew Norris, he would have been retired by then, but I reckon. not only were they – they had Strop in the seniors, they had big Cowboy in the twos. Yeah. Cowboy won yeah. the best uh, – the goal kicking that year, in yeah. fact. I'll tell you what, there's an interesting he kid. A, he would have won a few oh, in a row. Dear, oh, yeah. I must have won yeah. a dozen of them. I think he kicked the 1,000 in the reserves. Oh, well, I'm sure he had. Yeah. yeah. But, the, but, but, but Pines were pulling pants down yeah. in the seconds. I mean, yeah. they were winning every game. Yeah. And uh, interesting I, – I, I took some notes, but there was a kid coming up through the thirds at kick 70 – the young Dennis Stubbs, oh who ended gosh. up being a yeah. fairly handy type of yeah. player. Yeah. But looking through these records and you look at the juniors and stuff and the guys that are playing, the retired guys going through the seconds, yep. the, the Steve Johnsons, the Andrew yeah. Norrises, and all these guys yeah. come. That's the club. Yep. They stick around. Yep. They play They play senior footy exactly. until they can't play anymore that's and then right. they play in the reserves and then they go on the bloody committee. Yep. That's about, what footy clubs are about. about players, gun players, and uh, talking about back pockets, well, Mickey Wise was even, but Yob Sutton for Pines. Yobba. Oh, you know, yeah. he He's a legend player, at the club. You know, and he obviously got Trumpy Jackson, Stella Jackson. I don't know. Was he playing in 91? He would have been. Yeah, oh, yeah, yes. Back in the photo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was Stella indeed. would have been playing. But look, that, this, the, year set up, the year set up pretty well. Um, but in the end, we had a winner. Premiers? And the winner is YCW. YCW. And that was the start of their three-peat. Yep. Um, Josh's first year as coach. Yep. And Jimmy Bruin, a, a guy I played against um, in the late 80s, he was the skipper and he was a terrific leader and, a, and an all-time legend of the club. We've got some footage going on there, guys. So, jeez. Um, oh, the, the, the have big, have wits, the, have the the big Mark, Mark Witzel. Play the Mark Witzel? Yeah, bloody yeah. nice. Yeah. Um, ask Porky big about Mark Witzel. Gordon, Gordon <laughs> Henry. You heard about the story about old Witz, uh, Mark Witzel and um, Porky? Nah, nah. No, we'll, we'll, were they playing together then? Or nah, playing nah. When, it. Was that a uh, yeah, it's it's a big when, when Porky a big strop. When Porky was at uh, Karingal? I reckon Strop always used to have the, that guard on his hammy. He used to play a lot with that uh, big, heavy bit of wetsuit on his hammy. There's the big Witzel. Witzel. Have a look at that ground. Mate. The players now does it go, oh, yeah. stuff that, mate. Yep. Uh, Witzel again? Well, Witzel was an ex-Swans player. He would have played yeah. with Tony Moore at the Swans. Bloody oath. And he, he went and Trumby? played Trumby? Melbourne Jackson. as well. Trumby was 18 and he had grey hair. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I played my first game of uh, seniors on Trumpy. Have we got any traffic yeah. through there, Cartsy? Yeah, yeah, we do. Well, Jai Coughlin, actually. Oh, Jai. Oh, yeah. oh well, Coggo. So his old man played in this yeah, game. Darren, yeah, we Darren. Played, uh, Liam uh, oh, Blackie played with Coggo at Frank. Yeah. All father sons in this game. Yeah. Yes. Uh, to, to go through them. Can you name a few? Is that Beringer there and... Uh, yeah. Well, well Beringer's Mark um, Beringer yeah, yeah he's both yeah. Like, yeah. But yeah Joey Lane And Seabold And these guys um, They were just uh, YC had just, They used to run 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 all day YC yeah. You couldn't keep up with them yeah. Seabold Lane obviously um, They were just And they played their big ground well yeah. At YC Yeah And Josh Kendall was a great coach From too Because he uh, He didn't take any crap Josh He was you know Probably a bit like Trevor Lloyd Yeah um, you know, It would have been a bit scary to be coached by him. And he made me one thing about Josh Kendall, he you could hear him from anywhere on the ground. He'd be yelling out, abusing the opposition players, getting in on his own players, abusing the umpires. But a great coach, Josh Kendall. Paul Theobald. Oh, uh, wonderful. Uh, a fantastic player. And I think he, um, 
I think it's done. overlooked, I reckon. As, yeah. I totally agree. I reckon he's, he does. Because you know, he's not a big, big, yeah. strong guy or anything, yeah. but he, the, the, he was Fleet gutsy. He was, he, was, he was skillful. He was gutsy. Brendan Long's another good. bloke you forgot to mention. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. There's a bloke when you, he doesn't get forgotten any, in a sense with the, the top 10 of you no. ever to play against. Brendan Long, like. Yeah. Oh, I'd love to get Phoebe on the show. It'd be great. Yeah. Well, 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 he's we'll been see. working with AFL South East, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah. two yeah. league BNS. Maybe. Yeah. yeah, I reckon. I they're, they're, we're talking about rivalries before between Eda Fale and Chelsea and your Bomb Beach and that. The YC Ro- and Pines. The Ro- oh, Kringle, YC and Kringle Lange. I'd love yeah. to get Digger Watson, Theobald on. Yeah. Um, well, we played for the, at Kringle, YC played for the um, Watts Berenger Cup. Um, obviously, we haven't won too much, too many of them because they've been so successful. I played in a uh, game when Digger, down at Rye when Digger did his knee. Yeah, first oh. time I think it was the first time he did it. Yeah, he's done it a couple. I'm yeah, yes, sure. yeah. But uh, yeah, that was a, that was that would have been in ninety. Uh, was when Dolly was playing with you, but yep. um, anyway, it was when you came up. We won the flag. Yes, and yep. came up the division. But yeah, so, but there, you know, talking about gun players. Yeah, and, and we were talking about. Um, was it Jai Coglin right in before? Yeah, or Jai? Well, he um, captain a couple of. Yeah, mate, bloody oath. And then uh, we uh, premiership. Darren, I tell no, you, nah, Darren. Oh, Jai, well, Darren, yeah. Darren, come to Kringle and, and played uh, in a premiership too in Kringle. Well, and well, I was talking to um, Stewie Batten the on back Saturday. Oh, Cole. mate, and he reckon he goes um, three guys that they ever only like, sort of worried about was um, Digger, Trumby, and um, Coggo. And um, Coggo, mate, he used to be f- played my first senior game under Coggo. Mate, he used to spit on yeah. us. You think Dan Loningen's bad, mate? Coggo was shocking, <laughs> mate. Absolute <laughs> shocking. Just so but, you know, Troy, you're seven minutes over time, and you've got about half an hour of the show left to go. So you well, who's taking the fucking clock, Cutsy? <laughs> <laughs> Do we? Do we? I moved out. Sorry, I had to leave the room. But we, we did we gloss over Mark Witzel? What a character he was. The Witzel. Was he? Was his nickname the was Snitzel or something? Weiner Snitzel. Well, why well, wouldn't Witzel, it be? But he was. Name. He, he was a plumber. I used to deal with him in the plumbing game, and uh, he was a ripper bloke. But and for so a was bloke, that in the trade link days? Yeah, really. the trade link days. But he, and he, for a bloke, he didn't look that fit. He was fit, and he jumped, and and if people forget, he played VFL played footy. Played VFL footy, yeah. yeah. So he went to Mornington. Was he at Pines before Mornington or the upper, opposite? No, he finished at Mornington. Mornington yeah, that's right, Pines. yeah. Aaron, he, uh, Brett Cousins has written in to say that Wits hated a Jim Boone. Oh, oh yeah. And Tom Loved Austin, a Jim Boone. Tom Austin said he lived on Fisherman Friends and Jim Boone. He did. I hope he's still around, Wits, because he's a ripper bloke, and um, he's a, I hope he's still plumbing. I that, think he but lives around right. Mornington, way yeah. still. He might. You're right. Jim Boone and, and Fisherman Friends. Yeah. Spe- Spe- that, speaking it, of beers, Cartsy, you can grab us one, mate. Man's not a camel. Which uh, Aaron Martello played on wits at, at VFL right. level. There you go, yeah. There you yeah. go. So yeah. two great men, yeah. two good players too. Mark Witzel was a good footballer. He was a great footballer. And, you know, he, he, he helped Pines get into that grand final. Obviously, he played centre-half back. That was his, and he sometimes go forward. And Mornington, I reckon he played in a granny with Mornington. Or might, yeah, yeah, I reckon, I reckon he, did. he did. So Barely. he was just a rip of like you know, wits. He was... Uh, I yeah, thought character I, of the game. Mark I thought Whistle. I thought we did have the uh, league um, rundown of um, the votes of that um, best and fairest. Have we got that, Fuzz? I reckon we have. No, we only got Divi yeah. two there, yeah. mate. No, it'll, that's it'll okay. Be in the record here, though. Yeah. What do you reckon? Oh, there's Blackers. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, I've got it here. There yeah, you go. It is. Okay, so what do we got? We've got Paul um, Theobald. Theobald. Oh, Porky Wearsmith for Pines on six. That was so. Um, Theobald won on twenty two. Porky, 16. He must have been pretty young then. Um, Tarpy from um, Chelsea. Chelsea. And one of the best players to um, play down at um, Pines and Rye as well. Um, Paul Williams, what a fantastic player. Gee, you must have been young then, Jacko. And yeah. Jacko went up to come runners up in the Liston medal twice. He did, yeah. He probably should have won, won it one year. Yeah. So he's very stiff. And, you know, isn't his son going well? Oh, Bailey really at, good. at West Coast, you yeah. know. What a, what a side to, to be at and try yeah. to get into. But... Yeah, Paul Williams, wow. Well, there's another, you know, Pines have just had such uh, quality players over the years with Jack O and you've got uh, Mark Husswade, obviously. Yeah, um, but don't forget you know. guys like Brendan Moore oh. and Nathan Burke. You Brendan know? Moore, like, you know, the footy yeah. he went on to play at Essendon, Essendon. obviously, Frankston. The first you know. time we ever saw He's Paul. coaching, still coaching, Maury. Coaching Cheltenham, I think, or... Is, no, 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 Morty Alec. Morty Alec. Is it Morty? Morty Alec. The, uh, the, yeah, first, the first time Aspendale witnessed Paul was in the 1988 Grand Final in the First Division. Um, of course, we were promoted and we ended up in the, uh, the big Grand Final against the Pines and what an awesome team they were. But there was, a, there was an almighty 
uh, fracker, if you if you will. Yep. Good old fashioned Gee, punch up, to be honest. You guys but, are going um, through them, aren't you, tonight? You've got to drive out to Roy, yeah. Ah, <laughs> You've got to bear to your cards. <laughs> Wednesday, it's, it's hump day, so we're laughing. You always. But um, Paul Williams, was, that was the first time we saw him, and he was an outstanding player, and turned out to be one of the one of the greatest of all. Yeah, yeah, when you're talking about league players and, you know, uh, longevity and what he did for the league, and obviously went to Franks and nearly came runner up to list and trophies, yeah. there, there aren't many better top performers than Paul. He won a league medal by about 12 votes yeah. here uh, one yeah. year. He just yeah. had an outstanding year. No one yeah. could get near him. Even, uh, I was majority, I was 95% of a uh, reserves player anyway, but read out the top five, um, well, you Preston got, Ferris. You, you, got, you got Cleary from YC, uh, Chop, uh, Paul Gay. It's oh, Joff yeah. Gay. I'm sure yeah. he's told everyone he yeah. never played reserves. He played, got 13 votes, Chopper, so you <laughs> must have been injured, mate. You know? Mate, you can have that over in Kane Watts if you're listening, mate. Get that on Chop. you got, you know, uh, I think it was Andrew Carter from Mount Eliza. Um, you got, uh, oh, gee, how, do you, how do you pronounce that name again? Uh, Brancadizano. Oh, Brancadizano. From YC. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. YC, yep. I can't but, even spell you know, Callahan when Fernandez I said Brancadizano. Fernandez from <laughs> Utafal. But, um, it, and I the mean, not- Craig Bartley must have been played some injured games because he's, he's come, he's been Tobin as well. fifth best in Seaford in the, in the league Tobin. BNF. And the, and the 17s or 17s back Glenn then? Glenn Cornell. Remember little Glenn Cornell? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he won the under-17s BNF. But he went on and kicked um, six. some big six in a six grand, in a grand final, final. In a, a senior grand final. 94. No, yeah. that's fantastic. Good little player, Glenn Cornell. Yeah. Good, good comp. Good players in there still in Divi 1. Cornell? Yeah, yeah good. Bloody hard. Moving into um, Divi 2, and um, Black is going to go for a pee. Not that he drinks, but um, there's going to be a little bit talked about here because there's um, a bit of um, stats on him here. Yeah? So um, Divi 2 um, in 1991, um, Al Glanville. He got any records on that, mate? But um, premiers were uh, Frankston Bombers, um, and they probably got the uh, now in 2001 probably the best list in the peninsula going around, in my opinion, anyway. Um, I think there's a few good lists going around. Yeah. They're, they're certainly right up there. Yeah. I think Bomb Beach is yeah. really good as well. Don't worry, th- don't worry, Black, we're talking about you now, mate. Don't worry about 2001. Hey, Paul Gage just chimed in to say Wiz is up in Mooloola Bar with him. Oh, is he? Mm. The, the Wiz. Yeah, right. Nice. There you go. The chopper's busted to get back down here. He can't get well, back down. No, nah, well, he was meant to come down because he's a corner man for Kane Watts in his fight. And so Watts' his fight got put off two weeks ago. So Chopper's And there was another character playing foot against Chopper. Chopper, like, He used yeah. to terrorise me when we'd play against Mornington. And yeah. he'd uh, tell me he's going to belt the shit out of me and all that yeah. sort of stuff. But he's, he's a good, good player, Chopper. Good you seen it? You seen it? Yeah. Chopper's looking fit. He's in the yeah, ring. He's, 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 he's that's in what the Jason ring. Hardwick used to yeah. say to me, Billy. True he story. He said, Blackers, if you get another one, I'm going to F and belt you, you know? Yeah, there was a go too. <laughs> there was, can. Yeah. Chopper, there was a photo of Porky on there we put on earlier in the week, and then um, Chopper, Chopper looked like he was just doing the old ring, the old um, wind wheel over us. So Chopper, right into that. What was going on with that picture, mate? Al, back on to 1991. 1991. Well, Tony alluded to it earlier that they weren't necessarily the best team, Frankston, yep. but they won the grand final. Yep. Rosebud won 17 of 18, so clearly, and a percent, an almighty percentage as well. So they were clearly the best team. Um, Hastings were in amongst it Bomb Beach were as well Pearsdale and Karingal. Um The rest fell away Dramana, Lang Warren uh, Do you know what? It was pretty When you look at that ladder It's pretty even The bottom team won five games Yeah So it was a pretty competitive season Other than Rosebud up the top But you know You've got to be winners And the grinners in the day And Frankston were Clearly um, Blackie Won the BNF with 28 Remember Big McRae oh, The yeah. Ruckman at and Rosebud he's, he's president He's president of, He's president down at Rosebud now whale. He do, he's doing a fantastic. Um, he's a ripper, and you, you need talk one. about long servants of the club. You're now, not kidding. If you, ne- <laughs> if you need a president to keep your uh, wits about him and have your coach under wraps in um, tug, you need Brett McRae. Yeah, <laughs> the McRae's. The McRae's a very famous family. Yeah, I played footy, a little bit of footy yep. in Bass Valley. Yep. Went to a club called the Dalston. Yep. Forty Did you? of the forty-two players, fourteen of them were McRae's. True story. Um, Wonderful family. Billy Clayton up there on the yeah. list. Billy Clayton was just an absolute gun in the scene. He went to Pearsdale after Seaford. At Seaford. I mean, just in cra- crazy good player. Uh, Red Cooper, Andrew Coffey, well, Linda Coff, Notes. Coff, Coffey there was at Hastings, but he went to Mornington. He went to too, Mornington. Yeah. Was a, I think he was a premiership player, Coff, yep. too, there. Um, Gregory Hilton. Wow. What a great player. Stevie Tobin, Dramata, uh, Glenn Kendall. 
Yeah. Brett Sabir. Mark Zanecki. Mark Zanecki yeah. was one of the best junior footballers I had ever seen in my life. He yeah. was an absolute freak. Look, you look down any... His, any... his son come and played at Kringle. That's Harry Zanecki. Yeah, I think he's yeah. at Seaford now. Yeah, he is. He came to Kringle and, and then went to... And um, Mark Zanecki... Played at Frankston. Played, played nearly 100 senior yeah. games at Frankston. Yeah, yeah. Brett, Brett Sabir. Brett Sabir. He... Um, Went to Morty Alec after Kring, but he was he was only your sort of size. Yep. And, um, he's a sneaky little half forward. Yeah, so, yeah, that, good uh, player, Brett. Yeah, he's hell. the same age as me. Yeah, yeah, a dirty little old fella too. Yeah, absolutely. There's not much else I could talk about because I don't know anything about this bloody uh, second division. Well, Blackie, the, we'll throw it over to you, mate. Just a um, few good players in that league. You have obviously won the um, league medal. You won the premiership, pretty much named. It was a pretty good year. It was a pretty good year, mate. Great did you, who won the medal in the uh, the David medal in the grand final? Did you uh, win Matt, that? No, no, I did, uh, Matt Crichton did. Matty Crichton, big Matty Crichton. No, nah, yeah, well, yeah, no, that boy. was Danny Crichton. Oh, Danny Crichton. That's Danny right. Crichton Danny was, was the wild one. Boy. That's right. right? Yeah. And Matty, yeah. So I was lucky enough to play in in a premiership with Matt and his brother Ben when I went over yep. to Berwick and. Yep. Um, but yeah, we were lucky enough. Be, um, that that week it just poured down rain and yep. you saw some footage of how muddy the ground was. Yep. Well, that really suited us. We were yeah. quite young, fleet-footed. And, and I really think um, for Rosebud, they just dominated us in the second semi. Yep. And to be able to sit there for two weeks, you just the game would have gone through their head time after time. And they, they probably forgot about the process. Yep. And they were thinking more about the celebration than they were about the, the process. And uh, Anyway, cut a long story short, 30 years on, We've got a reunion in uh, on the 17th of July against Rosebud. Any any chance uh, Burn will let you have a beer there, mate, or not chance? Oh, she'll let me have a beer any time, yeah. but it's not just <laughs> it's just something pity I don't do, you yeah, know? Yeah, no, that's right. Um, did you go through the – I missed a bit. Did you go through the Rosebud plays in that grand final? Who played? Oh, that was I – mean, Anthony Aegis yeah, was there. I mean, obviously, Big Wild, Brett McRae was deputy vice yeah. captain. and Linda um, Notes. Tony Prentice. Uh, not Tony Prentice, Mick Prentice. Mick Prentice. Yeah. I don't know if he played, but he, yeah. he went and played at Melbourne. Yeah. Um, uh, on uh, the list. And Cameron Doyle was captain coach, obviously. Doyle, yeah. Peter Fenby, who went on to yep. win the goal kicking that year. Yep. Uh, Liam McDonald. Yep. Uh, um, and you can't forget Oates of Slugger. Lynch, yeah, he mate, great. Great, great player. You know, top Jay- of, Jason Hardwick. In one of the top ten players in the league. Darcy. Yeah. Oh, Mick O'Shea from Langy said just skipped over David Hollyhead that season. No, we're go- I was going to touch on Lang because uh, my son plays at uh, Langwarren. Dave Hollyhead, um, one of those little pricks, like little fleas. Yeah, but a great servant of the oh, Langwarren footy club. Mate. You go up there and, um, on yeah. a Saturday and, um, yeah, Holly. Holly is a fantastic player, and you talk, you talk about um, you talk to guys up at Langwarren Footy Club, and um, they can't talk more highly than um, Hull. So, B- Billy, on that day, uh, Jason Hardwick obviously ran ran with me all, yep. all day, and because he was at, a fit player, oh, Hardwick, super fit, fit, and he was yep. a great boxer, and, and the yap, and, he, oh, was, he was good he was a yap. yapper, he, he was a yapper. yapper. Anyway, we become really good friends afterwards, yep. and we, we swapped jumpers that day. But twenty years on, he gave me back my jumper, my yeah, premiership right. jumper. Yep. And then I was able to yeah. put it in a frame right. and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, it was and wonderful. And young bloke's going well. It's yeah. uh, Hawthorne, Blake. You know, he played at Hawthorne. But hasn't he got another one at yeah, Rosebud? Yeah, at Rosebud. Well? Jai plays at yeah. Rosebud. Yeah, you love so. that. You love that his jumper so much you didn't even put it on after the game, after that photo there. Yeah. Mate. Nah, that's right. Uh, he, uh, has, a, has a pictorials on you there, Blackers. Oh, I was being good nick back then. Hey, have a Blackers, look at that. Bernie sent me the picture. When, I was, you, when you were in Hawaii wearing your bungee oh, yeah. smugglers. Oh, has she? That, that was the Franks and footy trip, 1990. Yeah. I didn't even go on that one. But what about, I used to go out with Blackie. sent you that one? After playing at Frankston, I'd just go out with him and just hang around him. We used to hang around him. He didn't drink. Blackie didn't drink. So well, I just hang around him because the have girls to. used the to girls. come up to him. I mean, uh, it's like Fuzz over here. He's a Frankston boy. Yeah, boy, yeah Dermot was very lucky growing up alongside me because he, he used to <laughs> he used to pluck a few from me, you know. What did he used to do? Pluck a few from me. <laughs> he used to just handball them to him. Just look after him for a while, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what, what age did you stop drinking, Blackers? Uh, what, what happened? Because like, when, when a, lot of, a lot of people couldn't bloody... Yeah, f- no, uh, that's right. So when I was 17 or 18, because I... I was always hanging around 22, 23-year-olds. And we grew up at Heather Hill Cricket Club. Yep. Anyway, and sometimes the boys used to take me home and in a wheelbarrow so I'd get home safely and all that. I, I lived on Heather Hill Road. But then there was one time that I just wrote myself off. And honestly, for two days, I just... And nothing like what you blokes wouldn't do today, but I vomited and I just yep. had a split and headache. So I thought to myself, I'm never going to do that again. And that was in the early days of it was I no. Say that every Monday no, morning. No, I know. Every I know, Monday morning. I know, pity. Uh, and and at eighteen, I thought, oh, 
that'll do me. And yeah. Anyway, but I, I was always... You didn't thought, need beer to have fun, that's did you? Right. You didn't have to have fun because no. he was alive for the party uh, yeah. when I you know, no, was played good. footy with him. And, and uh, Billy and I, you know, Billy used to have his licence and he used yeah. to pick I me up. and pick him up. And really? And drive used me to, to pick the, him up in yeah. the XF Falcon so with you yeah. to, you 12 slotters on it. Yeah. You two are like bloody Krista and Trishna. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. In the rooms before, you bloody cuddle it. Yeah. Yeah. That, back in, that's kicked. 31 years ago. I used to pick him up that's and we'd good. go to Brunswick or yeah. we'd go to Port Melbourne. or you know, It was really uh, good times. It was good times. Um, another segment um, we're going to go through. So 1991 is absolutely fantastic. Um, we've gone through the... Um, the Goal, goal kickers, best and fairest and premiers. We're going to just skip a little bit, so Fuzz, I'm going to throw you out. We're going to go to, we've got another segment that Cartsy loves to put on. It's called Best Photo Contest. So if any of you viewers out there like to throw in a few uh, uh, photos, send it on and we'll put it on every show. So, Al, what do you reckon of these two on the left-hand side, mate? The old goose. Um, two, goose and Jacko. Well, three awesome players in that photograph, actually. We've got uh, Simon far left. Paul in the middle and the big unit, the goal kicking unit on the right. He looks, he looks like you know the wrestling, um, the wrestler Brock Lesnar. I think he's got, got a puffy face. Strop strop used to be that. a security. Did he, 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 didn't he run bounce? He'd be a security oh, the yeah. vines and all ah, that. I know yeah. he's listening. He's going How, to respond to my phone. How's the goal friend. kicking then, though? You know, you stopped kicked one hundred and twenty. Trev McLean, who was a hard nut as well, big Trev, one hundred and ten. Stevie Tobin played at Dramana and Sorrento, one hundred and ten, and Glenn Brown. Who, who won a couple of um, senior best and fairest well, at the Frankston Dolphins and Beez, was a... F- Beezer would, I, I mean, Beez, would have kicked under if he didn't take the footy trip money, would he, Blackie? <laughs> <laughs> Brownie's coming to the end of his career then, in That's a way. Right. Like, I, I seen him at Frank's kick 15 one day against Oakley. Yeah. yeah. And then he, next week, kick 14. Like, Glenn Brown's one of the best players. And played at St Kilda, obviously. Yeah. You know, Glenn he went Brown, down to coach he's a crib point. gun football. He was great, Absolute wasn't he? Absolutely gun football. And played injured a lot, Brownie. He could play with injuries. And, uh, you know, he's a player that like, doesn't get the recognition in our comp because he, he played a lot of his better footy at, at the St. Dolphins. Kilda or at the Dolphins, yeah. Like, I know we, sp- we spoke about Strop a little bit, but obviously he could play. Like, I, I oh, didn't bloody see that. He, he, could he play? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was a man Lead mountain. Yeah. And his shoulders yeah. were that wide. Yeah. And, but and his he, thighs he was, were that yeah, wide. Yeah. And he, and he, and he, so he used to have that wetsuit on his right leg. To yep. have, yeah, I don't know if it was hammy or groin or whatever, but uh, he was a target. He was, yeah. And he was tough. Like, he was a good yep. footballer. And uh, yeah, he they was. They had that um, aura about them pines back then, though, didn't they? Yeah. Um, yeah, they're all tough. Well, you right, sort of didn't. Yeah, if you're coming up against Pines, it wasn't one that you weren't looking forward to. It, I reckon. <laughs> you weren't going, oh, we're playing Pines this week. Especially when, you know, when we were 16 so going to Pines. You, you, you're like... going to play Pines and you think, oh, it's going to be a hard game. And cold showers and they're pretty crap away rooms. Yeah. And But they were just, he was a gun. He was a gun. He's a big Matt, softy Matt, these days, big strop. You walk in there, he wants to give you a hug and a kiss. Ah, and, mate. And he it, put up on social media, just this is how strop is now. He went and bought 25 of those beanies. Yeah, for, uh, for the MND, yeah. Uh, with the, uh, just yeah. reiterate on that cut. So I don't think we heard you. Uh, different. Big strop. Just yep. you know, he, he 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 said for those of you that couldn't afford to buy a beanie for the MND Foundation, he had twenty five of them. He went and purchased. Did he really? Yeah. He said I got He's some beanies here. You know, that's he's got a massive heart. He's yeah. a ripping bloke. Well, I, well, I saw day he... you at the past plays so with him a couple of weeks ago and. You know, he just gets around and hugs all his old mates and he just loves yeah. everyone. Big Back strong. in the day, he was probably doing his security on a Friday night at the Vines or wherever at the Grand and then he was playing footy and kicking yeah. nine tens on a Saturday. You know, he's probably throwing Robbie Jackson out Friday Mate, night. Jamie oh. Thomas used to oh, stand the there ox. like twin towers yeah. in the pines and the yeah. girls would just gather around. Yeah. He's yeah. Uh, the, the big ox, mate. He's a man. Have you seen him lately? No. He, he's a big boy, but yeah. um, there's no way, like, as a young fella running out in the centre, do you think, like, you know, from the 18 year old being the big guy, you going into the sand, you think, shit, I feel walk a bit taller with James that, Thomas. That around. other photo, though, with Jacko Williams and uh, and Goosey putting the red nose on that, so you know, I wonder yeah, how they got him to do that. Yeah. Well, that would have been a bit. Jacko, I don't think Jacko would have been too keen with that. Yeah. Oh, it would have put red, it on strop, but it wouldn't have fit the on the red that nose. nose. Anyway, been a cause. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, <laughs> good cause, good cause, exactly. No. But that would have been the two premier players in that year. At in the in the comp was Saltman Goosey and Paul Williams. Oh, always in the conversation. Number one, two. No, you're not wrong, and that's uh, fantastic. Um, obviously, um, the past players, that's what we're all here for, um, just to talk shit and um, talk about how good we all were and uh, how good you guys were. And um, obviously, the first panel, uh, these three guys, couldn't have thought of anyone um, better to come on, and it's been uh, fantastic. Everyone's obviously getting the gist of how it's going to work, so we'll, we'll keep rolling. Thanks to Decking Out Melbourne and Graham French. Um, 
Really, really good effort. I might even get him. He, uh, he hates a beer, so uh, we'll get him on, and uh, it's really um, stupendous. Anyone else wants to get um, on board and help us out, it'd be really good. We're going to actually get a... Uh, I've spoken to the Grand Hotel in Frankston. We're going to have a uh, past players drink, though. So on that, who am I? Um, if you win it, you'll get a $50 drink card. Thanks. For, wow. Uh, thank, thanks so Adam to, uh, Dyer. Adam Dyer's got Adam the first Dyer's drink, got card. The 50 drink card. Well done, AD. Uh, thanks to Game Face and Glenn Carter. He'll put that 50 bucks on, mate, you cutsy boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, go, so just throw it around. Obviously, you guys, I, I love, obviously, I'm, you know, 12 old year uh, younger than you guys, but going to other clubs, and, uh, and that's why I probably put it on there like a past players thing because I love seeing Alan, Teddy at ADS and Billy and that down at um, Roy. Uh, you, you've got the core group of people that you really love going and have a beer and I'm glad I probably got the kids on there every second weekend because I'll be plastered every weekend. But um, we're going to be getting the next sort of four to six weeks, depends on how the viewers go. Who would you like, like when you go to Somerville, Lang Warren, who do you see that you think, shit, you've been around for years, like Somerville. Adam Cross was a really yeah. good player for, he, I think he won six or seven Runners up, best and fairest. He just couldn't crack yep. it. Um, and and their coach at the uh, I can't think of what his coach was, but he he was a really good player. Crossy. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Well, back in the day, there Greg Coyne was there, wasn't Greg, he? Somerville. Yeah. He got uh, Lee, was it Gagey played Somerville? Not um, Somerville. No, no, no. Gagey played at um, Langy. At Langy. Langy. So yeah. did Robert Jackson. Yeah. They played Hale. Pro- Mark, was it Mark, Mark Hale. Hale. Mark Hale. Mark Hale. Thinking of. Yeah. But Rocky Porter obviously was ex Somerville. Yeah. Um, but, oh, but yeah. If you if you got anyone from your club, that, Gary uh, Colling won their their last premiership. Yep. But uh, if anyone's got anyone that uh, like to throw on the panel, we've got uh, in the next sort of two three weeks we've got uh, a full panel. But you know, um, just going out to Devon Meadows, you got the, the boys out there like Paul Simpson. He's about forty. Matty Joseph, Ma- yeah. Shane Piper, they uh, were from, terrific from players. Meadows, yeah, Bloody yeah. Right. Matty Joseph was a, a great footballer. Arrow, an arrow will tell you. Greg that, Sues, yeah, was another good player. Yep. Coached him for a long yep. time. Paul Freestone went from um, Cranbourne to Devon Meadows. Yep. Absolute champion. He's, he's been at um, Devon Meadows for the last oh, 25 years now. He, he went over when Rod, Rocket Rod Keogh. Oh, yeah, Texas, yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Which is good. No, go oh, he was a good player, Rod Keogh. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they had some, you know, that, were you talking about Hampton Park now? No, nah, Devon no. Meadows. Oh, he went from Hampton Park, Park over oh. to when Devon when Meadows. He, Hampton Park when... That was a tough game, oh, Hampton God. Park, when you played them. They had, like, they, they had Johnny Holden and uh, they they had, uh, the, the O'Brien, O'Brien brothers. brothers. Wow. Like, wow. Funny. I'll tell you a funny story about that. I accidentally whacked one of them one day, and it was an accident. Obviously, I didn't whack anyone. But I accidentally <laughs> whack one of them. Well, for the next three quarters, I, I ran. I, I'd never run as much in my life because they would chase me. They were going to get me. Anyway, they never got me, thank God, but they were pretty tough boys. Uh, when we, when we went boys. over and we, we got um, Hampton Park and Doveton yeah. and Narrow Warren, that in the LA. What, what year was that? Can you remember that when they uh, come over? I reckon was it was that in uh, late, late 90s? 90, it, was 90, it was 98, I reckon, because Greg Doyle's yeah. first year of coaching. No, uh, 96. Was not, 96 we, but we, maybe, beat, yeah. we beat um, yeah. Dalton. I, I was talking to Stewie Batten about it on yeah, um, Sunday. Been. I was saying that and uh, said, um, he goes, ah, all you blokes will freaking wake us piss. I said, well, you come on next week. He's the most hated man that's come from that division over here because he was so good and he was so tough. Yeah. Yeah. He's some fella, Stewie Batten. Stewie yeah. Batten's a ripper guy. I've never had a beer with him until Sunday. Still the greatest nickname out was Danny Rout. Yeah. Played at Hampton Park. You'd be, he he, he, he be able to guess his nickname, but Danny Rout had the greatest nickname I've ever come across in local footy. Yeah, and it was I think his nickname was Licker. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> oh, we're going to move on. And um, Stewie Batten's son Lockie's playing good footy at yeah. Devon Meadows. A bit, little bit injured, but um, and Barry Parsons going really well down at Devon Meadows with the boys. Um, Ripper bloke. Uh, life membership boys that uh, in the MPNFL. Um, there's a criteria in that, and um, I thought I'd brought it, bring it to your attention. But, you know, there's 300 games coach or played. Um, who do you think should be nominated? Is there anyone out there that um, I, I think I uh, uh, with Digger Watts gave me my bloody um, life membership um, uh, beyond the criteria, but um, only for years served and that. But, um, Blackie, I oh, know you don't like really talking about yourself, but you're a coach and uh, player coach over 300 games, mate. Is it... Something you think about having a life membership at the oh, NFL? Yeah, look, if that that would be terrific if it come along. He, he just wants to save the admittance fee to get in. Yeah. That's all he wants. It's, it's $10. <laughs> no, oh. you, get, you get that anyway yeah. in the 300. But what is it now? What is but, it now? But, You've got to play 300 senior games. Well, that's what it's coach. always been. Yeah. 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 That's, that's what that's, it's always been. And that's a hard, I mean, that's a bloody yeah. effort to do that. But it's but there's, some, there, there's some good names in there. Um, like with obviously games play, like the last two, Michael oh. Burke, Luke Van Ray. Uh, Aaron Mariner. Look, it's Pity, so the one thing that I think, since since we've gone with AFL South East, right, I think that we've lost a bit of identity. Yeah. We've lost a bit of our history. We, we, we've lost um, 
we've lost the board members that used to come around and interact with with the people like the the Johnny Watsons and um, uh, all of them. Yeah, Norm, yeah, yeah, normally yeah. Normie Lounge down. Yeah. All of those sort of people. I, I think. Russell, Jack Jarring, yeah, know. all of that sort of stuff. Kenny Doherty. Yep. Kenny yeah, Lyons. Kenny Lyons. Yeah. Johnny Davis. Yeah, yeah, all of those. Well, Th- maybe Ted Turner can address that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, next week. Um, yeah, we'll Teddy. talk to Teddy about that next week. Teddy's yeah. an ambassador. Definitely. Yep. Yep. No, that's fantastic. Because he is on the league. He's executive. Yeah, yeah executive yep. on the league, which is yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Wonderful, Al. One thing that um, obviously Cartsy, um, and thank you very much to Gameface and Glenn Carter um, and his team down here tonight. We're one of the only leagues that don't, and I want your opinion on this, guys. We we don't have a hall of fame. How do you think that'd sit with us in the, in the Mornington Peninsula? Would it be a, a good idea? Fame. Good idea oh, or not? Great idea. Yeah. Great idea. Yeah. We well, uh, they should get it going. You got to start somewhere. Yeah. But That's the thing. You got to start somewhere. They should start it. Induct. You know, the first year they might induct forty players or yeah. whatever, yeah. twenty players or whatever, and then go from there. You know. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think it's something. And I, I think. At. Um, like Hastings do it really well. Kev yep. Miles yes. would be a, a person that would would love yep. to get on board, yep. and he will come on at, at some stage, Kev. But he would talk about that because, you know, like otherwise it's it's lost. Yeah. Well, you, yeah, you're right, right Blackie. You lose the history of the whole leagues, leagues. you know, yep. back from the, the days in the 50s and 60s yeah. and the 70s and 80s. And, yep. You know, if they don't do it soon, it'll never get done. No, that's right. No. And, then, and then I guess 30 years from now, we're talking past the 30 years, um, someone wrote on the um, – on the page the other day, oh, you've got to go back. I think it was um, Dunny from uh, Pines. He goes, oh, you've got to go back another 20 years to get the full history. He's probably right, but that's probably where um, you can get sort of a core group, uh, set of eight players, if um, past players, um, obviously Al and Teddy and um, the boys, just to, if that's something we um, end up going to do and going to the league and saying we do want to haul Yeah, well, fame. like, Al, you know, Al, you're turning 60 tomorrow or, or the next day. Billy and I is he the fittest sixty-year-old you've ever seen? Al Glanville, he's great. Yeah, he still goes to Happy Reaver birthday, and yeah. the Rock. And, <laughs> and Billy, you and I, we're in our fifties now. Yeah, we and, are. And pity, you're in your forties. Yeah. So, yep. you know, like to go back to the seventies, yep. probably beyond that. Yep. Then we're we're out of touch with of with that that time, don't yep. you reckon, Al? Well, Trumby, Trumby Jackson would have been playing back then, so he could he can enlighten <laughs> us a little bit. <laughs> Just a little dry spot. Yeah. <laughs> Stewie Gaze just chimed in to say Blackers, not a little bit. We've lost nearly everything. There's no history. So he's pretty keen to roll his sleeves up. Yeah, well, he's, yeah. well but that's not entirely true. I happen to know that the league put in a fair bit of work last year with Dave Nagel. Yep. And they'd, they'd, they'd invested pretty heavily in trying to. Bring well, maybe we get the, um, yeah. somebody from the league on. Yeah. Well, yeah. Doug well, Dyle's so, got all the records, hasn't he? Yeah. Doug? Yeah. yeah. So, well, so Stewie, there has been Stewie a fair Gaze bit of work got done. COVID got. actually hurt yeah. that project. Yeah, so yeah. I need to jump in and say that they, they have acknowledged it and they, yeah. um, and they have. Uh, so they, so uh, they're, going, they're going to steal the thunder from our past players things, aren't they, boys? What do you reckon, Al? <laughs> no, I, I think we can work together. We I can work together really because this, we is have to. this is what we're about. 100%. We're about to, you know, promoting the past, really. Yeah. Yep. No, Start with the it. MP and NFL Team of the Century players, says Stewie Gate, and work from there. Definitely. Well, that's something we can throw up. Yeah. Definitely. What do you reckon there, Al? I'm for it, mate. Yeah. Absolutely. And, History's and, lost. And Al, like we we're, we're that Team of the Century, right? Um you know, this is a hard thing. Like there was a lot of, there was a few players from this. Um, I know one player that was disappointed, and I think he should have been in on the eighteen. Was Brady Wright? Oh, oh he, did he not get in? Did he get in? Al, did he get in or not? Is that Brett Wright make the team of the century? Or was he on the bench? On the bench, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, but there was players from the um, South West Gippsland League. Yeah, yeah. And and they Mind they you. only they only came in for a short period. Al. Yeah, I know. The, but yeah. Um, yeah, that's you know it's a point of conjecture. Yeah, uh, most teams that of are selected course. like that. Oh, of I course think it is. Half the room couldn't believe yeah. that he was only on the bench. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, I'm not being disingenuous no. to anyone that yeah. was picked before we, him, but we all left disappointed. Yeah, to be honest. But look, do you know what? It was still a great night. Yeah, yeah. And, it was a good night. And there wasn't a mug picked. Yeah, yeah. Nah, no, you know what I mean? It was a great footy team, but that's one that got through. But look, yeah. all for getting history in order. Yeah, because. It, when we go, who's going to put it in there? Exactly right. right. So, well, that's the message the because everybody. the next generation, I don't think, are interested. No, that's right. And probably because well, they're creating their own history, but yeah. they yeah. like are. to be remembered. They are, so. but they probably haven't been put it in front of them. That's right. Like me being uh, ten years younger, 
I grew up with you guys and uh, um, idolising bloody blokes that used to play against me. But it was thrown in front of me. Nowadays, if you haven't got game face or throwing records and that in front of you, yeah. you haven't got who's who. Yeah, no, yeah. that's right. But no, so that's um, going to be a hot topic there, Cartsy. But guys, thank you very much for um, the first episode of uh, Past Players, MPNFL Past Players. Thank you very much, thanks, Scotty thanks, Bill, Pitty. Al Appreciate Glanville. It. Tony Blackford, you'll be with me next week, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you to listeners and get your photos in, get your comments in, and uh, thanks very much. Cheers, guys. Beautiful. All clear. Done. Right up, boys. Good show. Great at the benchmark, can we help? Great at the benchmark for him. Well, you know, it's given. He's not going to come something to work with. So is Teddy Turner coming in next week?